Yeah, we on time with it. We on time with it. Yeah. Hold on, man. We live? We live. Mike's there we high. go. There we go. I don't see the chat moving. That's why I said that. No, oh, you know, that's, that's you know it's gonna start in a second. Let me just do my promo and stuff like that. We live. We on live. time. On time. All right. Special episode, man. Eight o'clock. We live, man. Special episode. What's up with my boy? Said, this is the only time Wayno could come through. <laughs> yeah, wait, wait, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, use the mic right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the headphones too, bro. That was it. All right. Yeah. Wayno, Wayno, you booked and busy or what, man? Oh, man. Emma, I've been more booked recently than I have in a minute, so I'm excited, bro. I ain't going to hold you. Yeah. <laughs> Facts. Booked and busy. I'm happy I'm here with my guys, though. Come on, man. I mean, there's a lot of history in this room. Come Facts. On. Come on. Facts. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, man, I saw you uh, You was at Rolling Loud. Yeah, yeah. Out here doing your thing. Yeah, I was at Rolling Loud. I just did Dreamville. I've been hosting these festivals, man. Well, oh, you did Dreamville too? Yeah, yeah, I just did Dreamville. Me, Speedy, Nyla, Simone, uh, my homegirl, Amber. Hell yeah. Shout out to Speedy, Oh, I, I see you put me with her. The DJ, Nyla, Simone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, shout out to her. Facts, that's my sis right there. Okay, she be doing the uh, interview shit too? Yeah, she do shit. She on Power 105. She be doing shit with Breakfast Club. She got like the pass the aug shit every Friday. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Shout out to her. Lit. You said pass the ox? Yeah, so she play like a new a new artist like every Friday. Like after DJ Envy do his set. That's fine. Mm -hmm. That's fine. You can hear everything good? Yeah, I'm good. Lit. Yes, Community, sir. What's the deal, man? We are here. Five we are here, man. In the building. Yeah. Hold on. I'm happy. I'm happy. We back, man. Punning pun in the gym today. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. He motivated me to go to go work out today. I like come that. On, man. Yeah. Yeah, pun. Come catch up, Wayno. Oh, no, I'm on it. Listen, I I I be hitting the gym, bro. I was uh, <laughs> see, y'all ain't seen me in a minute. I was like a good see, I, I ain't never been y'all side, but I was one. I ain't never been y'all side. What you mean by that? What you mean by that? Our side. Nah, man, come on. You say you say ours. That mean you fat too. I don't, I don't mean y'all fat. Y'all know y'all niggas know y'all bigger than me. Pause. Hey, shout out, shout, <laughs> shout out to Havoc though, because Havoc seen me in person. He said, "Hey, you not fat." I was like, "Thank you, Havoc." Yeah, that's a reach. You heard that's what, what Havoc you heard said. You're what Wayno just said though. <laughs> trying to, he's beat. trying to make you feel better, bro. No, so look, I was one ninety. Y'all would y'all have seen me last year and be like, "What the fuck is wrong with you, bro?" He's like one ninety seven. Yeah, me. He was one ninety seven as a baby. Yeah, you was almost you was almost two hundred. Why you laughing? Why you laughing? Why you laughing? Why you laughing? You was almost 200 pounds? I was almost 200, bro. Oh, wow. Now, I got up to 200 before, and it was the first time. When I moved to Atlanta, bro, fried chicken. Oh, There's nothing but fried chicken. All that good food. Bro. All that good food. Uh, I don't know if their food is all that good. Let's oh, Atlanta food is fire. You tripping. Oh, wait a minute. Every, not, I, listen, not, not better in New York. We got better food than them, bro. What do you mean? What's we better? better huh? food than them. What's better? All right. Like, Y'all pizza? The chicken is not better. Y'all pizza? Pizza? I, we, they ain't even got no pizza down there. Y'all got pizza. Yeah, but we got Jamaican food. That, like all the Jamaican food that's down there is people from New York. I feel like y'all got the like the island shit for sure. You no, know, we got that one. Anything dealing with like Dominican, Italian, Dominican, no, Dominican Italian, and all that type of shit. Y'all no, y'all got food. Italian food for sure. We got Italian food. We got Dominican, Chinese food. But so, so that's a big so. misconception too, though. Everybody so. act like they shit is just the best because it's the South. Atlanta it's got a South. The South got the best soul food, bro. My favorite place to eat in Atlanta is probably Toast on Lennox. Toast on, yeah, yeah. Toast on like shout, shout out to Harp, man. Yeah, hell yeah. Shout yeah. out to Harp. Hey, guy. hey, them the best pancakes I probably ever had For in my real, life. They shit fire. I, I, I had two fire uh, soul food spots in New York, though, before. I went to Harlem. What's the one in Harlem? Where? I went to, uh, what that fucking? Uh, Amy Roofs. Amy Roofs. Amy Roofs, yeah. Amy Roofs. They changed, that shit different, man. Last time I had Amy Roofs, it was, it was not good, bro. And then I went to other, I think it's like called like Mama, Mama something. Um, um, Melba's. Oh, I don't remember what it is. They have... Oh, manners. You talking about manners? No, I don't remember what it is. I'll tell you what y'all do got. I don't fuck it up. They have some good ass cornbread. Hey, y'all got pork chops and all that. Cats. That's the best sandwich of all <laughs> time. Cats, yeah, cats. Cats is the you best see, sandwich. You see the line of all. out that motherfucker, right? Man, wow. listen, every time I go to New York, I have to make a stop there now. For real? Every time. Nah, cats is crazy. That pastrami sandwich, that shit hit different. Then we got, you know, we got sweet chick. Well, y'all got sweet chick out here too. Yeah, our sweet chick will order down. Yeah, uh, uh. it was a thing for like the first two years. It was, yeah, it was. And cool. it was like after they that. had events there and everything. And yeah, then, hell yeah, hell yeah. yeah. It was over after that. Facts. It was like, oh, this is Nas, Nas uh, spot. Yeah, yeah. So the hype was there. Niggas was going. The chicken sandwich still hit. Well, I ain't had, I ain't had sweet chicken in a minute. I ain't, I ain't went since lie. that one event, pu, like two years ago, three years ago, actually. 
that A man had with all mm. the artists and stuff. A long time. Yeah, I ain't been. Yeah. Sure. I, I ain't had that. I think the last time I might have had it, I was out here too. You know, I be out here. I be low. I be low in Cali. Ducked off. Hell yeah, bro. You know, good, why man. the? Because man, niggas be out here doing too much. So you gotta you gotta be out here chilling. But like. you from the cloth though. I am, but but see see this is the thing. Every time I I be out here, I be working. Now look, mm-hmm. if I need, I don't be needing shit. If I need shit, I could call y'all at right, any right, time. Right. This is my relationships over ten years. Facts. Right, right, right. You feel me? But I don't be. I be. I go. I go to the studio, home. Uh, go to my room. Go shop a little. Chill. I don't be doing shit out here. Keep bro. it light. I be out here a whole week. Niggas won't even know. That's a, that's a good way to move, though. Yeah, be, I be is, by though. myself, they too. They don't want all that attention on you sometimes. You just want to come and duck off, get your paper, relax. Nigga, I ain't tell you one time. I was I was leaving from the airport. I, as soon as I got my car, I'm, and, you know, fishballing out here. Right, right. Yo, a nigga pull up on the side of me. He like, yo, roll in the window. I took off. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so I take off. He, uh, he pull up. Down? Yeah, he, he pull up on the side of me again. So I act like I was going to go ahead. I let him go. 52 faked him out. Spun the corner. Later on, the nigga get on my IG like, "Yo, you a bitch." He like, <laughs> he like, he like, you a bitch. He like, man, he like, uh, you everything that's wrong with hip hop. I was trying to talk to you about some music shit, nigga. About pulling up, niggas die out here, bro. Nigga. <laughs> yeah, nigga gotta understand. Yeah, that, bro. bro, it was crazy. That's that's the catch out here, though. Nasty you know work. I mean? Hey, but see, that's the thing. Like, I know I had to get over a lot, and I know Pun has to get. He he still he's yeah. kind of there and stuff like that because a nigga won't say. Hey, what's up? I fuck with you. A nigga will just stare at you. Yeah, they'll be staring. It'd be a big ass buffing. Hey, bro, <laughs> it's or, or, crazy. Hold bro. on. Today we was in the fucking steam room. <laughs> nah, and I'm looking to ante- my antennas. I got my headphones on. On yeah. a little nigga. And a little, like, he's saying something, and I don't know if he, like, he trying to, like, talk to pun or get at <laughs> pun. But in my, I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, Bro, we about to get off on a nigga in the steam, in the steam room, room, bro. He's crazy. <laughs> be falling but, he, but he was a fan though. He's a fan. But yeah, from the photo, state your biz. Yeah, Nig- niggas, you, niggas approached me off. Like I just was at Dreamville, right? A nigga was in arms reaching me and walked up and is like, "Yo, ain't that the nigga off of everyday struggle?" I was like, "I ain't the nigga off of nothing, bro. My yeah. name Wayno. Like yeah. you could have asked me. Like don't talk about I'm the nigga off of nigga. You standing right? He's like, oh my, my fault, dog. Yeah. Ain't Stop that the goofy, nigga? Off of- yeah, ain't that the nigga off of like like I'm some proud to belittle you." Yeah. Yeah, bro. Yeah, like, like I ain't even did that shit in yeah, four years. Don't box me, yeah, nigga. Don't heard? box me, nigga. Facts. What's good with y'all though, man? man What's up chilling. to the chat? So, hey, so, speak, speaking of the chat, Quinn Lowe, somebody take it uh off of subscribers only mode. Let everybody talk, man. Let them be freely. I see that up in there right there. You know what I mean? No, nah, but that shit was crazy. We was in the steam room and I'm just sitting there like, <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. Yeah, have to whoop a nigga ass bro, in just the imagine room. getting into it in the steam room. That's nasty. <laughs> Everybody sweaty. Yeah, bro, that's nasty work. Yo, know I mean? you know what I mean? Yeah, that's wild. That's wild, bro. But I just feel like it's LA is like, like approach, bro. Like the way that we look at people, the way that we move and shit like that. Yeah. Like you never really, really know. Yeah, no, nah, that's a fact. That's it's it's the same way in New York. Like I, you know, I ain't lived in New York in three years. I was living in Jersey, but same shit. But sometimes a nigga might see you and they see you got your family shit. Nigga be like, all right, like they might. Chill. Like, I was just at, was at my door to track me. Nigga pulled up on me. Yo, bro, you know, I'm a singer songwriter. I'm like, yo, you remember paying the phone? Yeah, fold? you don't do that yeah, though. Yo, remember paying the phone? He's like, yo, me and my man trying to build. Like, we ain't even on it. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling yeah, the nigga, yeah, like, yeah. yo, bro, me and, my, me and my daughter right here, like, we chilling. I yeah, know you probably here for your kids. I'm like, never time, never place. Maybe he's like, he had a little sick look on his face. He's like, all right. Like, yeah, you got you to gotta respect that. Has some discretion, though, like, bro. You got to like, respect that. Facts. Like not right now, bro. I'm right not here with right my daughter, now. bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Wait a minute. We say when I'm out in the streets for the eating, the feeding my daughter. I feel like <laughs> when you, when you, with the kids, yeah. Let that time be the time because yeah, we don't even get time as much as we would want to. So yeah, the time that facts. we are out with our kids and just in the, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. Let yeah. that, let my, that be. I, I've been in my kids' life, they whole life, and I've missed hundreds of things. So it's for like, sure, you know sure. what I mean? So it's like, nigga, you, you when see you me with mine, just. For sure. Yeah, like nigga, just chill. Say what up from afar if it's cool, and pull up. If not, then just catch me another time. That's how I gotta be, man. Facts. I and mean, I, some niggas look at that shit like, man, this, this is my, my only this chance. Is my, yeah, this, is yeah. this is my only chance. <laughs> yeah, my at kids least. get a kick out of that shit though. They think that shit is funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they think that shit. Is you got like when you really sit back and look at it from the outside looking in. You like yeah. people don't really get to see these celebrities or people they know. No, like yeah. you don't get to see. How often you get to see Jay Z, Beyonce, Kanye? No, facts. So it's like. The closest person, like, I mean, you know, that from entertainment who I probably seen is a Wayno. 
Right? If I'm yeah, a, if yo, I'm a nigga on the outside, facts, so you're like, facts. this is my only shot to try not to shoot facts. my shot. Yeah. You know what I mean? I know you got your kids track me, but damn. No, it'd be crazy. You know what's crazy too, though, bro? <laughs> it's still like, I ain't. it's like the last two years it hit me. Because both y'all niggas knew me before I was like a right. face or anything. Right. Facts. So it's like, I still... Nigga, I still go to my block when when I'm when I'm in town and go see people and chill and I yeah. I be recognizing like I'm not the same nigga. You yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, bro, it's like you 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 gotta sometimes I be having to snap out of that shit because I get this shit everywhere. I know y'all do too. I be in Target, Whole Foods. I remember I was at my, my daughter do jujitsu. I was at her joint. The the next class coming up, a nigga was like, he like, wait, <laughs> what you doing in here? Because niggas don't know I live in Atlanta. Yeah. So niggas like, the fuck you doing in here? Like, what you? Yeah, bro. That shit, that shit dope, though. You know? Yeah, it's dope when dope, people bro. show love. I can't front. It's just when niggas try to play you like a nigga like, hey, yeah, you the yeah. nigga from, uh, yeah, don't, nigga, don't you know play. who I am. Hey, it was, it was funny. <laughs> oh, yeah, it, don't, <laughs> it was funny because we was just in Vegas. And, uh, shout, and shout out to the OG from 6 0. Uh oh. I ain't never seen a nigga approach a nigga like that. We sitting there eating sushi, bro. Uh -huh. It's me, OT, and the homie Jeremy. Uh -huh. And a nigga run up like, what's up, nigga? What's up, cut? <laughs> And we look, we like, <laughs> and, yeah. And before it can register, like we did, they're about to get down. Yeah, he like I fuck with y'all, cuz. I was like, hold on. I said, uh, <laughs> yeah, nigga, run up like that, like bro. This See, cause y'all niggas got different level <laughs> politics out this side of the world, but man. But it's, it's like it's like an older guy. So yeah, yeah, mind yeah. you, the way that his approach was facts, bro. We just eating sushi, bro. Our backs are turned. We don't know what the fuck going on. Yeah, Great way to break the ice. Yeah. <laughs> it could have went wrong though. Sushi cut. Yeah. yeah, sushi cut. Sushi cut. Yeah, it's probably, yeah. Well, we was, we was charming up for a minute and shit too. Yeah, but I was nah, like, that's fine. I said, man, that's just wild though. Nigga, run up like that and shit. Yeah, bro. Nigga threw you off for a minute, huh? Bro. Uh, bro Especially what? when you like ducked off eating food with the homies and some fly shit. Yeah, bro, yeah, we were expecting that. We're sitting like that. on top of this thing eating sushi, bro. We just turn around and we like, hold on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, and we looking at each other like. Now, I'm going to tell y'all the funniest shit about. Us. Yo, the cat, yeah, the niggas posture, bro. When niggas run down, they be doing all this shit. Like, yeah. you know, they don't know what type of time. And that's chest, just how niggas. Chest poked out. Yeah, chest poked out. <laughs> like this or some like, shit. What you on, nigga? You sizing nah, me up, bro, nigga? Like that shit be funny as shit, my nigga. Damn. Nah, you, you you do got those niggas like I, it's in every region. Mm -hmm. That's facts. on temperature check. No facts. Just facts. Some, they, they, they don't mean no harm, but they want to see if you pussy though. Like. Yeah, now, you know, y'all niggas met Cass over before. That's how Cass yeah, was. Yeah, yeah. Cass, but Cass, let me tell you, bro. It was two niggas from New York. I uh -huh. will always give it to them. Ooh. Pop Smoke uh -huh. and Casanova, bro. Mm. Because anywhere I'm at, them niggas don't come with just one person. Oh, nah, nah. They have 40, 50 people with them everywhere they fuck. <laughs> <Facts. Yeah, laughs> <facts. laughs> RP my nigga Pop Smoke, but nah, I never facts. forget when I first met the nigga, like, he hit me up. I was uh -huh. chopping up with him. I didn't know the impact. Of what he was gonna become. Yeah. And bro, we went to Miami and I seen all them niggas, bro, at the Madrian. Deep. Yeah, bro. When I niggas. say deep, yeah. Deep. Nigga, deep. Yeah, he was on some shit. Like his first nigga only had one year, bro. Nigga had like, one. like the right. most legendary year right. ever. Impactful like, you know what I mean? Like, impactful like, like a that motherfucker. Nigga, he solidified forever. Bro, like niggas forget, was he 21? He's he not 20, bro. 20. 20, 20 bro. bro. Fucking twenty years old. It be it be bugging me out that this nigga when we first seen him he was nineteen. Like that's crazy. You know what I mean? Like he impacted 20. he impacted the scene hard. It was like, you know, you it know was I, thorough all the way across the board. I, you know I knew it was a thing, bro. I, I was out. What's the shit out here? Boosie Bellows. Yeah, mm -hmm. Boosie Bellows. Nigga, I was in the. What was I out here for? It was it was uh, I think it was the Grammys or some shit, and they played his shit, bro. And then I was like. Damn, they jacking this shit out here. Yeah, like, no, it was for real. It was big. I couldn't bro. believe it. I'm like, they jacking pop out here. That's fire. It went crazy. Facts. And they dropped a classic album. Facts. Man. And that Facts. was that was one of my favorite albums, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Like at that time, I was like, this nigga hard. Which one? The after he died, the one fifty put out? Like, that one was hard too. Because that one was crazy. That too. one was hard too. The, the one person. the white shit with yep. him and the black. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this shit was just dropped right before he died, like two weeks after that shit came out. I was like, damn, cause he was going, he was going uh with Travis Scott nigga doing a fucking fashion week. He, yeah, he was booming so fast yeah. though. It was like, damn. Nah, they was man. He young niggas, man. Niggas yeah, you feel me? Went crazy, bro. Yeah. But you know, situations like that, it just sucks too, cause it's like it's so hard, mm -hmm. and it's both regions. Yeah, for somebody to come from a different region and everybody rock with them. Yeah, no, that like that, that shit is tough. Like, that shit is tough. All bro. the females playing that shit. Every fucking man. club you go to, 
they playing that shit like I'm like, mm. damn, that shit is dope. You and know what's yeah. dope? He had the gangsters dancing again. Facts. Like niggas, it wasn't really like niggas always make a like it's club songs, but he had niggas like I don't care where you was from, that shit came on, you was moving. You feel Facts. me? Like yeah. you was moving. Yeah. Facts. That was that was crazy. Hell yeah. I mean, that was I, you gotta give credit damn near to all of it, like. The New York, and y'all started the whole dance and shit. Y'all like, mm-hmm. I feel like y'all yeah. brought it back. I ain't gonna say started, it. Yeah. brought it back to where like gangsters was like, but y'all shit was kind of like, what was that shit called? Y'all was sturdy. It's sturdy, mm-hmm. yeah. The, 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 when the Millie Rock, came, when the Millie Rock came out, I was with two Millie, man. I ain't saw my nigga. I ain't seen two Millie since then. Like, shout out to Millie, like, yeah, shout out to two <laughs> Millie bro. <laughs> no, you gotta give it to New York. Period, though. I appreciate that, man. No, we because be getting you, that love. You gotta think about it, like, like what Puff was starting to do in the dances and stuff, and the Harlem Shakes Whoa, and yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. chicken, the chicken too soon, too soon, too soon, <laughs> yeah, too soon, too soon. <laughs> yeah, you spread that one. The chicken noodle soup, the chicken noodle soup, all that shit. Come on, like it's always been like that. Yo, you know it's crazy. Because I be telling people all the time when like when niggas be talking about regions, I be like, yo, bro, I grew up on West Coast music too. You gotta think, like, bro, I grew up in the era of, like Rap City, Yo MTV Raps. They yeah, was playing everybody's yeah. shit on TV. You feel Facts. me? Like, I grew up on Snoop and them shit. I grew up on Remember, we had that convo. I remember it was this convo we had like years ago, bro. <laughs> me and you. But what I said, I said Snoop is like the, the West Coast Jay-Z to me. Mm. You know what I mean? It was niggas that just was like it wasn't we, we what the fuck we was at A D. We was in a studio. We was in a little bro, ass studio bro, too. Bro, my first time ever going to New York was with you and Dave East, bro. Facts. In a tiny ass studio. It yep. was cold as a motherfucker. Yeah, <laughs> yep, in Queens. And we just and this sitting there no jacket. Up. I had no this fucking no jacket, bro. <laughs> true AD fashion. Bro, because I didn't understand how cold it was. How cold cold was. I'm used to it's yeah. raining out here, 60 degrees. And yeah. I can wear shorts and I'm cool. That's a cult. That, that's crazy. I can't imagine like growing up in a place where niggas get no snow. That's why, bro. Yeah. The Atlanta should be no killing me. No snow. Because there's no snow, bro. I'm used to having a coat in December. Like that's, shit is crazy. That's West Coast niggas, bro. Like unless you've been there or somebody there telling you the weather, mm-hmm. you don't realize like when it's cold or when it's hot in New York. You don't know. Not fact. So we just go in there thinking with a with a Cali mind state. Yeah. Like, nigga, we finna just go up here with a hoodie, hop off. Nigga. Y'all shit. Soon nigga, as we my, granny, my granny said, you need some, some uh, uh, what's it, the long the thermals, guns? Yeah, the thermals, thermals. Said, yeah. Thermals. I don't need that. <laughs> Fresh off the plane. But you know, like, people perception out here, they think it's just hot all the time. Like, Niggas, the, yo, bro, the, December Compared in to, LA to, is crazy, though. Oh, yeah, it's bad. It's crazy. It's cold. <laughs> LA and Vegas and Arizona, oh, it's we bad. Got, we got bipolar weather, man. Nah, facts. You would think it'd be cold out here, but it'd be hot, and when you think it's hot, it's cold. But yeah, nah, that's cool, man. Shout out right. to bro, shout that to you. Was, that was the first time in my life I bought a scarf. You know what? <laughs> one time I remember we, that shit. I got a scarf on, bro, the only one I can find, and gloves. I'm like, this is a different type of cold as punishing. No, facts. That one thing nasty we work. One thing we ain't jacking. He said jacking. Yeah, jacking. One thing we ain't jacking is Timberlands out here, though. We ain't doing that. Y'all don't jack Timberlands? Nah, that's, nah, that's not true. That. We not that's not that. true. Y'all don't jack Timberlands? Listen, nah, niggas go, wear Timberlands. Niggas go, wear Timberlands. Go outside Timbs. right now. Ain't no niggas nah, wearing Timberlands. You know we don't wear Timberlands. Party, party Crips wear Timberlands. We don't wear Timberlands. When I was in middle school, party Crips wear Timberlands. Party Crips. Party Crips. Don't even ask him. Don't even ask him. We're not about to go down the rabbit hole. That shit sounds bad and funny. That's the first time I ever heard them two words together. I saw you try to go see Timberlands. As <laughs> nah. club niggas, well, yeah. for the record, I ain't never owned no Timberlands. <laughs> see, niggas don't buy you know, Timberlands. Yeah. How you gonna bounce the shit? You only, don't buy only because, bro. What? I wear a size twelve, nigga. That shit looks yeah, look shit's, fucking crazy, look bro. Stupid. That looks stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks stupid. It just look like boats on your feet. Yeah, that's crazy. Bro. I'm like, nah, certain shoes like that. But I remember I was in middle school. They was they was trying to get that shit off. Yeah, the Timberlands for sure, for sure. My nigga Wayne on the building. Wayne, oh man, you you been having your hands and shit for a long time, bro. Facts, man. You know what I mean? But you came from a, a school of scholars. Yeah. A lot of people, I mean, people that know that know you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fact. But then it's like people, like, it's funny because it was like even with me when I got into space, everybody like, where does this nigga come from? He, he live in 80 basement. Woo, woo. Yeah. Like, niggas don't know your backstory. <laughs> and it'd be like, unless no, you, bro, and we don't come out popping it. <laughs> yeah. We just be humble with it. And, and it's like, with you, it's like, I be seeing people, they be thinking like, oh, he's just a nigga from... Academic show. Yeah, oh bro. God, no, you know what's crazy? When I started doing everyday show. People first introduction. Niggas thought that I dropped on the earth that day. Like, yeah, yeah. And I got mad hate. Like, I got wild hate. Like, niggas was hating crazy. Cause it, cause like, but you got to think about it. What? Like, nigga, people are like, oh, this the nigga that's supposed to replace Joe Button? Yeah. <laughs> like, that's a <laughs> fucked up position to be in. But, bro, I swear, you're on some G shit. <laughs> nigga, this shit wasn't on my vision board. Like, I ain't have no. Right. So it's somebody dream. So it's, it's niggas that was journalists and shit. Like, 
how the fuck this nigga get? I'm like, shit, I don't know, but I'm staying. Though. Yeah, yeah, over here. Once some niggas started paying me to talk, I'm like, I'm gonna have to pay me to shut I up. See, see that, I was <laughs> happy. I was like, oh yeah, shit. Yeah, because we know, you know the homie he in there. You yeah. Know what I mean? yeah, man. Yeah. Listen, bro. Like, and that what's crazy is like even even me and Punt. Me and Punt, Smoke Dizzle introduced us. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was trying to get some beats. That nigga put me on email with Punt, put me on text with Punt. Yeah. Years ago. Shout you know out I mean? Smoke Dizzle. Facts. That's my brother. Hey, so everyday struggle, right? Yeah. What? Like, how'd you get the call for that? Nigga, it wasn't no call. Look, I was a fan watching that shit every day like everybody else, right? Then me and the desk was cool because when she was at MTV, she interviewed East. Like, she came to Harlem, interviewed mm-hmm. East a few times. You know I always stay in touch with niggas. Like, even when we ain't, nigga, we... Yeah, you ain't got to talk every day. You know what? Y'all been my niggas for... I ain't never got no checks with y'all. Y'all just no, been yeah. my niggas. Yeah, yeah. Just real shit. Right. So I always check up, see how niggas doing. I hit in the desk because she was... Remember when Star was on that shit? Yeah, yeah. Star was on that shit. And I... Uh, I remember that shit. I t- she was talk- going back and forth with Star. I was like, yeah, talk your shit. She hit me like a week later. Was like, "Yo, I'm a bad friend. You should come uh, debate with us one day." I'm like, "All right." I came there. It's a good lie. Got on, nah, no, no bullshit, bro. I wow. went on there that first day and stayed for three years. Fire. Damn, that's fire. 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 And I even know niggas. I swear to God, bro. I even know you can make money doing that shit. That yeah. shit changed my life. Like, facts. yeah, facts. She facts. changed my life. Gave me a whole new revenue stream, more relationships, Gave more nigga a whole pedestal too. Like, facts, facts. bro. Facts. Cause That's I like, I'm... you know, by the scenes, like, you know what I'm saying? It was a transition at that time for you. Uh, okay. And it was like, you already know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Facts, facts. So like, like seeing you like go from that and then like, boom, mm-hmm. it was like, bravo, my nigga. You know what I mean? Nah, niggas was salute. I ain't gonna fuck, oh, no. bro. Niggas yeah. was happy, bro. The niggas was happy for me, man. Niggas, yeah. was, niggas was real happy. Cause you know what? I feel like, bro, niggas just love, niggas love to see good people do good. And that's one thing mm-hmm. I, can, I pride myself on. I ain't got no bad name out here. All the niggas that Gosh. don't like me is never it, have the com- the common denominator between every nigga that don't like me is they have nothing going on in life. <laughs> you <feel me>? <laughs> <laughs> they have nothing going on in life. So all the niggas in the hood that don't like me that's gonna see this fuck y'all niggas facts. <laughs> <laughs> Real shit. Y'all know who y'all is. Hey, 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 it is what it is. Y'all know who y'all is. Talk your shit, nigga. Tell me. No, yeah. you definitely somebody that deserve it, bro. You worked hard. You still working hard. Yeah. People don't know what you do behind the scenes. And yeah. it was crazy. So many people hit me up today too, and they was just like, man. When is Wayno gonna start? You know what I'm saying? Streaming, being, yeah. streaming, being on camera more, doing more shit. Nigga, I put a yo. So I should have called you too, but when I I, I call AD like, yo, my brother, I need the game, Facts. bro. I'm like, uh-huh. I'm like, yo, tell me Facts. everything I need to get. Yeah. AD gave me a whole list of shit. I went and bought everything. Showed him a video. AD, look, I done got the camera. Mm-hmm. I got my PC. I got my monitors. Boom, I got boom. everything, bro. Yeah. I got my stream deck. I got all that shit, and I did start streaming. But I, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like I be, AD just told me before we went live. He like, bro, stop beating in your head about that shit. Just do it. Just do it. You know what I mean? Just do it. Fire up. It's yeah. a process because it's definitely. I know, like being in that position where it's like, damn, doing it at home. Cause I mean, like AD, he used to. AD just one of them. He gonna yeah. go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> in fact, he gonna go. But yeah. certain of us where we like, cause we still hold that. Like we from an era. Yeah, the older yeah, era was yeah, like you know, cameras still be kind of weird. Sometimes. Yeah. So it's like doing it from your house. You like, yo, I, I'm, the biggest challenge has been for me is like, I think, look. I came in everyday struggle. That's complex. Big ass media company. Big mm-hmm. media. Then after that, I went to Amazon Music. Another big Boom. media company. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now this is me. Like, nigga, I was doing everyday struggle 40 weeks a year, four days a week. Damn. That, the consistency Couldn't was just work. me pulling up. I ain't yeah. have to edit. I ain't have to get nobody to do. Just come to nothing. So now it's like me doing it on my own. I'm just going through them jitters of being on a bicycle, falling, getting back up, figuring the shit out. But I'm on my shit. You know? Yeah, 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 I'm yeah, on my yeah. Shit. yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a Facts. process. You're gonna do great at that shit. Once you get in that rhythm too, it's over. Yeah, I'm getting the red. Once you get so that I was rhythm, doing this shit called You Will Be Judged. I just had niggas like pulling up and I just we judge your music. Like we we judging you. Cause the biggest misconception in life is that God is your only judge. God's not your only judge. I'm here to judge you too, my nigga. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> right, like, like, fuck way no. Yeah, I know like, my fuck, shit. Yeah, guess what? Fuck you too. We 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 go judge this music though. But it, it, it it's dope because it create like a banter between me and the people where they just like I be honest with them, and it ain't for me to shit on you. Yeah. If it, I be cr- telling niggas what they should do better, you feel me? It that ain't shit. nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing no, wrong with it, bro. Doing your thing. Facts. Shout out, shout out to that, man. So you gonna bring you gonna bring that back? That's what yeah, you bring yeah, it back. I, man, all I gotta do is I, I built a whole game room in my crib, bro. I be in that bitch playing the game all the time. All I gotta do is turn the fucking PC on and, and, and hit the OBS and go crazy. Yeah, that's all I need to do. And go you know crazy. I mean? But but it, what helps though is assurance from my peers because it helps that y'all niggas is telling me like, nah, we know you could do that shit. You feel me? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, bro, like even like you gotta think about it when you left every. I mean, when you got to everyday struggle, mm-hmm. like. I'm like, damn, who the fuck are they going to replace with Joe? Mm-hmm. And it's like, 
bro, is somebody that has real hip hop knowledge, mm -hmm. who's been in the industry, who's in the industry, dealt with certain eras. Like, I don't think people know, like, your Rockefeller background and yeah. certain shit like that. Like, you was in yeah. those offices, bro. You was around legendary moments and shit like that that you can speak on. You know what's crazy, bro? That All the Rockefeller shit, that was like some of the most dangerous times of my life, bro. Like, Damn. Because I was with Beanie Siegel, bro. Yeah. Like, like be, being around Beanie, like state property was like the most dangerous niggas I ever met and none of these <laughs> niggas was gang members, bro. Like, it was crazy. Like, Beanie was crazy, though. Nah, bro. It, I seen, like, and I ain't even, because it ain't even cool, but I seen men tremble in his presence, bro. Nah, I believe like, it. really tremble. And, and like, being around them niggas, like, you, you see... You know all the beef shit now. Right. You know what I mean, like mm -hmm. niggas talking about. I know we're gonna get to that about the colds and. The, oh, we'll get mean? to that. We'll, we'll get, to that. get to that. But like when we was beefing with kissing them niggas, bro, I thought we was going to die. Like for real. Bro. I thought we was going. Nigga, die. we was riding heavy everywhere, and I know, like I know a lot of niggas that's around kissing them. They was on bullshit time, bro. Right, but right. See, did it? Did it make it fucked up? Cause you was around Philly niggas more. And you gotta go back home? Yeah, because look, I right, I'm gonna tell you, my <laughs> man Will. Y'all probably met this nigga too. They be calling my man Superman. He be bodyguarding everybody. Nikki, that nigga introduced me to Weekend and all these niggas. He was like a rough riders nigga. You yeah. feel me? So he was around kissing them niggas and all of that. And um, they all they from Yonkers, which is like thirty five minutes from where I'm from in Harlem. But they used to be in Harlem a lot, so I right. I would be around these niggas. But they didn't really know me. I was a kid. Right. But I would see these niggas. I'm like, damn, I be with beans in these niggas and then kissing them right there. I'm like, all it takes <laughs> for one nigga to say, ain't that the little nigga that be yeah. around these niggas? You feel me? Yeah. Because we we had some runners with them niggas. Unfortunately, it didn't go left, but it could have went left every time. You feel me? Damn, I'm that's crazy. For real. Are you running with the Philly niggas? Yeah, I was running with the Philly niggas because they. I mean, I was working with them at Rockefeller, yeah, so yeah. it's like shit. I had and being around them niggas. Once you be around them niggas too many times and they pass you something, nigga, you just gotta be with it. And that's right? a, that's a <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. That's a different era though now too. Yeah, but if if they would have had you know Instagram back then, oh, nah, we they would for sure wouldn't know who you were. Yeah, no, not nah, listen. <laughs> if they'd have had Instagram back, hey, then, yo, wait up. <laughs> we'd have went to jail, my nigga. Like we'd have been going to jail because we'd have been doing all the same dumb shit all these young niggas do. When I was with the young guns, bro, we was riding around with L all types of shit. Live it up, say nine. Yeah, no, they, they, <laughs> no, that ass, and, and we, if, if, yeah. man, listen, bro, we done been through some shit, so we'd have definitely, we'd have been in jail for all types of shit. A lot of them niggas went to jail, too, so I'm yeah. just fortunate I'm still here, bro, bro. Even, even that this those diss tracks, bro, are super underrated, bro, because I remember, good. like, having them on fucking burnt CDs and yeah, shit like that. Yeah, you remember Pete Cutter? Street yeah. Wars, you remember the, the, it was this nigga that he had a series. I don't know if it made it out here, but it was this nigga named mm -hmm. Pete Cutter named Street Wars. If niggas was beefing in Cali, if niggas was beefing in Texas, he had a, a, a CD where he would put everybody beef on the CD. I remember beef. <laughs> oh yeah, that shit. But he, this nigga Pete Cutter, bro. You ever look this nigga up, bro? You can find all his shit on YouTube, probably. See, I used to get the Smack put, DVDs and shit like that, and, and, yeah. and watch like Reed Dollars and yeah, yeah, yeah. And back when French was, you know, what I'm saying nigga, coming up on, and shit. I was on the first ever Smack DVD. Wow. That's how old I am. I'm an old ass nigga. Shmuck. <laughs> Shmuck. No, that yeah. shit was, that shit like for the culture, that shit no, was dope. Facts. Hell Cause yeah. Because I felt like when I got one of them, man, it was just hidden gems in there. It was rappers I didn't know, know nothing you about. You Shay Davis? Yeah, Shay Davis, Shay Davis was hard. My guns go he blam. He was hard. Yo, bro, that, nah. Shay, Shay Davis, Shay Davis was today, hard, Shay Davis bro. was fire. He was killing it. Shay Davis it. was fire, bro. Niggas with Jack and Shay Davis. I ain't gonna hold you. That and then, um, man, one producer that I hear that don't never get no credit like that Ooh. is motherfucking Heat Makers. Oh, nah, Heat Makers is the nigga. Heat Makers was great, bro. All the old Dipset shit, yeah. bro. That's what I'm saying. I was, I was around, bro. I was working at Rockefeller when we had State Prop, Dipset. Like, I got to be around Jim, his crazy ass, all the Bird Gang niggas. Like, so you, I got to be around some shit. Man. Around during the fall off and everything, like the separation and all Hell that. Hell yeah, all of that. Yeah. Around, all that shit. What was that like for you, though? Like being around during the separation? Nigga, I was devastated. Because guess what? <laughs> I was not... I, nigga, I'm a 18-year-old kid. I got When I met them niggas, I was around 17, 18. I'm yeah. on the block. So, nigga, I'm thinking this is going to be my life for the foreseeable future. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I get around these niggas. When they broke up, I, I, I ain't know what the fuck I was going to do. Damn. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, uh, I didn't know what the fuck I was gonna do. So when that that breakup shit happened, and I was it before the breakup, it was all types of like weird ass energy between like like Dipset and them and like Bleak and them. Yeah. And, you know what I mean? It was it was just and I was neutral between everybody because I'm from Harlem, so I'm around Cam and them every now and then. And Jim Jim is like my big brother, so I'm always around him. 
Then I'm always around state property. Then I be around Jay Z and, and all the Brooklyn niggas. So it was like when them niggas split that shit, I was just sitting there stuck like niggas in the middle, like had damn a regular so, job, nigga. So I just heard, <laughs> I just heard that the old boys beat was supposed to be for Hove and H to the Izzo. Yeah, it was, was supposed, supposed to, to go Cam to Cam. Cam. I, that see, shit I is crazy. I didn't even know none of that. Like, I mean, because I, I wasn't really around them. You know how I got in music shit? I was delivering. I was a. I was working in the mail room. I was working in the mail room delivering mail to the label. So like, that's how I got in. So I didn't like when that shit was going on. I ain't really even know them niggas. You feel me? Mm. But when I when I seen like when I heard about it, I'm like, oh, that's crazy. But it's a lot, bro. It's so many songs. That, it's so many Jay Z Cam songs I heard that never never came out. Seen the light of day, bro. Never seen the light of day. Okay, so answer this. If if you know, mm -hmm. this is this is another rumor I heard. What? I heard majority of the breakup uh -huh. was due to Dame. He was gonna make Cam the vice president, president yeah. and was gonna make Beans a, a president or vice president. Yeah. And they said Cam like had his own office that he, he made like no a office. closet or right. something. Oh no, no, Cam, <laughs> now Cam did. I ain't gonna lie. Like Cam and them <laughs> niggas, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Them niggas. See, Cam and them, they was just on bullshit time. Like, look. Bro, one time I'm in the office, Cam walk in the office, he like, yo, shorty, how much money you make a week? I was like, $200. He's like, come work for Diplomats, I give you $400. <laughs> you know what I mean? Come on! <laughs> so like, yeah. Cam, and I think I told this story before, but like, Cam, like, he told me one time, he's like, yo, he like, the, the rock, he, he, he said, yo, the Rockefeller shit cool, but I'm I'm really using this to build up Diplomats. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm using this to, not that he wasn't disrespecting it, but I don't think like, beans in them. They didn't have business mindsets. Right. Like those are my brothers. They they say it in every interview. Them niggas didn't have business mindsets. They was getting what they could get out of this situation. Cam was already on his second or third deal at by the time he got the Rockefeller. So he had been around the block. He knew what it was. He was on business time. Niggas ain't really know. And that's, you know, shit. Ain't nobody business to teach you business. So Right. But I think it wasn't just that. It was like looking back, bro, as much as I love Dame Dash and I learned a bunch of shit from him, he was bugging. Like his mad shit, he was doing. He was bugging. He was bugging. When he when he when he signed ODB, you know what I mean? Like I heard that he ain't sanctioned that with Hov. You know what I mean? Like gave ODB a rock chain. You know what I mean? At the time, ODB was pulling up his shit nine hours late and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> For real. But look, 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 look. <laughs> okay, that's hilarious. Look, I would I would say that's on brand though because I read this whole this whole fucking article. About how ODB worked, um, Mariah Carey and them for the honey fuck. What's the uh, uh, the when you walk by? What's that shit called? Yeah, uh, yeah, honey. Yeah, yeah honey. no, no, that's not honey. That's, no, no. I know, I know yeah, you're talking about uh, uh, fantasy. Yeah. Fantasy. Yeah, yeah, bro. That nigga, he worked the label like five times, bro, or something like bro. that. Like wardrobe budgets and shit like that. Bro. Yo, you Just know what's crazy? The video. Nah, you Remember yeah. when like every 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 crew like ODB became the standard where every crew like had the ODB of their crew. The ODB of the crew. Yeah, like you know what I mean. That shit don't even exist no more. Like ODB mm -hmm. to me was like one of the greatest artists ever because he was super honest. Like bro, the nigga fucking. Album cover was his food stamp card. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he pull up in a limo. Yeah, he put. He went. He <laughs> bought. Remember the MTV got shit? The nigga went. And bought, yeah, yeah went and got right. his food stamps and all that shit. Nigga, like fuck it. Facts. I think nigga scared to show that side. Yeah, you know what I mean, cause everybody too cool nowadays, bro. Like nobody. What, what kills me about artists today, bro? A nigga. So none of y'all niggas never lost a fight. Like, yeah. like, 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 like nobody never lost a fight. Everybody's ultimately tough. Nobody has any L's. They just got a bunch of money. You, niggas, and all niggas you niggas drive foreigns? All yeah. y'all niggas? Everybody? So niggas you know never I mean? had a sh Bro, my first car was a motherfucking Chrysler Sebring. You that's feel why I like, me? Like, that's why I like a my Red My shit man. was a Dodge Neon. I Dodge like Neon. when Red Man on Cribs yeah, showed his spot. Cribs, yeah, fact. Like, I respect that. Hell yeah. You know what I mean? He like, nigga, shit. Nigga, I ain't gonna sugarcoat nothing, nigga. He had, a, he had a bullshit spot, but that's he was happy with it. You know what I mean? Yeah, that shit. A lot of, and that's the thing. A lot of rappers got bullshit spots. Like, <laughs> they, you know what I mean? Like, for real, for they real. just got bullshit spots. You feel me? Yeah. Like, yeah. They just, they, niggas are scared to show that. I think that'd make, but that's why I feel like Sexy Red is such a thing. I was just about to say that. I promise you, bro. It makes her, bro. She's relatable. so, she's so relatable, bro. Yeah. You wanna know why? Because all of us got a cousin. Everybody got to cut. Everybody that been in the club and like, look at them bitches over there fighting. That's them. Like you know what I mean? Oh, we was, got a wild homegirl. Yeah, they, it, there was yeah. no voice for them. They, yeah. that, that's the voice for them. That's the homegirl. Facts. You know what I mean? It's Facts. a it's a new young nigga right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna share some light on his shit. And he going up. They said all the labels is on the shit right now. Yeah. Okay, Dave Blunts. Dave Blunts. Yeah, he got us. He he, he kind of going viral right now. He got a song called "Crying in the Kitchen." 
<laughs> he from out here. Subway cookies. I don't know where this nigga Subway from, bro. Subway cookies. Yes, bro. Subway cookies. Them shits used to be lit. If y'all know Chad, who they from? Right, already, yeah. already some relatable. Yeah. Subway back, cookies back, used to be fire. But this what he this what he look like. They're like this is album covers and shit like that. Oh shit. <laughs> That's kind of like like BFB the Pac Man. Remember he's yeah 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 yeah. 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 But I was like, nah, that's crazy. I'm like, damn, bro. Like people really being themselves and this is working for me. What is what is the music like though? But see, that kind of sound like Juice World to me. Oh, yeah. Word? Yeah. That's crazy. Okay. Shout out to him. See, that's the thing that be throwing niggas off too. Because my thing now is like people, and I'm not saying this about that young brother, but niggas be having so many gimmicks. A nigga do that just to get on and get a check, and you find out a nigga ain't really an artist. Niggas Ooh, just a content bro. creator. You know what I mean? Like, niggas don't be artists and shit. What you talking about four bats? Four bat? What's your, I, what's your take on that? I actually, I, th I like the song, but it's like, my thing is, is like, I want to know how his voice actually sounds. Yeah, are you, are, that's yeah, what I'm you don't you know. know. I mean? Yeah. <laughs> it goes with what you're saying, though, because right now, it's a gimmick that's working. You know, in the beginning, you can get that off. Yeah, 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 fact. You know, it's viral. Mm -hmm. So it's like, all right, now, now we want the real. Yeah. But I think, is it that though? I, I don't know. Is it that? Or but is that, but is that fair to say though? Because Playboy Cardi get his shit off like that all the time, with with pitching his voice and his shit not sound like, a certain way. Yeah, I like. But Playboy Cardi went through a lot of stages though. He did go through. True. Like we got that wasn't uh, his introduction. He got a different, a lot of shades to him. Like four bats. I just like what I like about four bats is the relatable factor is he's saying shit that motherfuckers could relate to, but it's just like it's unconventional. Like this nigga wears black white beaters, bro. That's insane. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't trust no nigga. A nigga that eat that that wear black white beaters, like eat mac and cheese from the chicken spot, like the hood chicken spot. I don't. You can't trust them little black niggas. Black white beaters. Yeah, he like they look like a bunch. Like him and his homies look like a bunch of hungry young wolves. You feel me? Yeah. I think that's why it's so unconventional because all he doing is singing about girls. But I wonder if that's really like. Is that him? Is that gonna be like a, all right? I just I just did that to get on. Just and to get now, on and now. Here, you know what I mean? Like. Yeah, that's why. That's what I know. I haven't figured that part out. Cause I yet. feel like the first nigga. Well, I ain't gonna say because niggas been doing that since the beginning of the time. But like, like Lil Dicky did that. Like Lil Dicky, he did yeah. all that shit to get on just to do film. Yeah. Because niggas don't nobody even talk about his music at all. No, because like, he no just dropped. He just dropped another album right now. Yeah. Well, maybe I'm just. I it's just called a Penneth, I believe. Penneth. He got some dope songs on there too. For real. Yeah. I remember I was in tour my, my cameraman was playing that shit. I know what Pum about to say. No, I was going to say, you know, the white boys, they get on, use the black niggas, and, and, no, yeah, and they cross over. No, that's a fact, bro. They do it, you see it a hundred a hundred times. You see that but, shit all the time. But I feel like he used, you know, he used him getting the TV show. Yeah. And I started seeing, like, he sprinkled in the songs that were on there. Yeah. And he's yeah. dropping them. No, he's very smart. But you know what? You know what's crazy thing about four back but all these artists, bro. These niggas don't want to sign nowhere, like right. Like they don't. They don't really want to sign to nobody. Mm -hmm. Sign nowhere. I mean, let's let's let's, let's we, we understand why. Yeah, yeah no, nah, facts. I, I I get it. It's just like, but sometimes like a lot of a lot of the shit that niggas be wanting is going to take you to partner with somebody. Like mm -hmm. like yeah. not saying that you can't because you could. It's a lot of he, he, a lot of heavy lifting a nigga got to do. But at the same time, you get to a certain point and you don't got certain shit. You just gonna have to work with yeah. somebody. Like you but don't. Like, there's no way around that. A lot of these niggas are spooked, bro, because you got to think, like, in the 90s, you didn't get to hear the horror stories to yeah. later in the 2000s. Yeah. So it was like, now, today, you can hear the horror stories and go a week later. Nah. <laughs> niggas be like, I signed, nigga, these niggas ain't answering my call, nigga, boo boo, they dropped my Yo. single, they flop, boo boo. And then you be like, damn, right. I was just going to sign with them niggas. Yeah, now, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I'm scared. That happens a lot, too. No, it do you happen I mean? a lot. But, th but this is why I be saying, a lot of niggas don't be knowing what they... Because you know what? Niggas is only concerned with the bottom line. Because cause this would be happening, right? You got some of the niggas that's like, I want to own my masters. They don't know what that means. Don't and then know. you got the niggas that's just like, I just want money. So they'll sign anything. They look at that advance. Ah, they yeah, look at advance. Like, How yeah, much I'm getting? How much I'm getting? You, yo, bro, you know. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, dangle that shit in front of their face. Here's yeah. 200,000. But that's the thing. <laughs> own you forever. Man, niggas, but that's the thing. Niggas don't look at them terms. Niggas just want that bread. They don't know the terms, what the terms should be. What it should be. Yeah, niggas. You know what I mean? They come in the game. They just like, look, man, I'm, am I going to own my shit and I get this much money? How much? Three albums, five albums, but niggas want oh, right. niggas don't have no leverage, bro. Like if you, yo, if you want to live at my crib, like if you want to live in my crib, bro, and you want you can't you can't just have access to everything. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like you can live in my crib, but if you want to eat, you got to get your own food. Oh, nigga, if you want to live if if you want me to cook you food, nigga, I'm gonna need you to take out the garbage. I'm gonna need you to be doing housework. Yeah. I'm gonna need you to do something. So nigga. you so you say artists expect too much out the gate. They yeah because because everybody talent be having niggas thinking. Oh, I deserve this. I deserve this because y'all got it. Not because I want to earn it. I deserve it because I know y'all got a bank account that got the bread in it. 
all right, cool. We mm. gonna give you the bread. Now once a nigga give you the bread or whatever and you fuck it up, it's you come right. back like, I want more bread. No, nah, bro, you ain't. This shit not a deal for you. It's a deal for everybody. Yes. Yeah. You feel me? Like, and, and that's the one thing I think artists don't understand is that nigga, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta give something to get something, yeah. man. Yeah. Like, it's show and prove at this point. But that's life though. You feel mm. me? Like, you're not gonna get, like, bro, if I if if I'm saying now don't get me wrong, I have relationships with y'all niggas that I, like I said if I'm in L.A. and I needed something or if I needed to get somewhere or I need I right. could call y'all but that's years for sure, for sure. of us right, building right. that's real friendship though a, yeah but right. a nigga meet you today and think yo you supposed to give it to him you got yo, that. you gotta take me and 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 I a nigga be like yo you know what I take you over here but like what's up with your situation I could be a part of it yo I thought you I thought you just you want to see me win? Yeah, but I want to make some money too. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I got to make a fucking phone call. I can't get shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's funny too because Pun watched that so many times around me. Uh -huh. I have I have friends that never wanted to get in the music industry. Oh, nigga. And Ooh. then out of nowhere. All right, so let me get my fake journalist <laughs> yeah. back. How is it big? Because see, I knew you. Because <laughs> you know, I be telling niggas, I be like, I know AD. You know how many times I tell a nigga I know AD? They be like, why are you know AD and yeah, Pun? Like, yeah, you know them niggas? I'm yeah. like, those my niggas. How Facts. has it been? Now look, I, nigga, I was posting your music Facts. way back. Back in the day. But now that you done made it in a different situation, now niggas like, yo, bro, I'll hold the camera, nigga. I'll shoot the drum up back up. <laughs> yeah. I'll do whatever. Yeah. How's it been, bro? Talk about it's, it. What, what I would say is it opened me up to a whole different type of audience, bro. Yeah. But, bro, I'm the same nigga, bro. Like, if somebody come up to me, bro, I appreciate you. You feel yeah. me? I'm going to take the pictures. Whatever the fuck I gotta do and shit too, but the entitlement of it yeah. has got a million times worse. Entitlement is crazy, bro. Because yeah. it went from, hey, do a song for me. Yeah. Put the song out, do all that. It's like, hey, let me get on your show now. Yeah. Now I want you to do a song for me. I want to get on your show. I want you to uh bring me around these type of people. And I want to oh, yeah. come back to the yes. show whenever I, wanna, I want. I want to be a recurring character. Yeah. And I want you to pay me. And niggas can't bring nothing to the table. I, like, bro, I had to park a nigga. I had to park a nigga from my block with that one day. The nigga, the nigga said, "Yeah, you ain't got no niggas from the block with you." I said, See, that's. I said, I said, bro. I said when I went through. I said when my pops died. Who, who from the block came to the funeral? Yeah. I said when I, when I went through the toughest shit I was going through in life. I said, was any of y'all niggas there? Did y'all niggas call me? See, how I was doing. I said, all right, cool. Right. There's nothing else to say after that. Nigga was stuck. Nigga couldn't even say nothing. Right, right. Ain't nothing to talk about. That's facts, though. Just y'all niggas stay in y'all's lane. Though. And, like, and you know see, I mean? and that's the problem, bro, that people don't understand. Yeah. It's like nobody sees the hard work of how niggas got to where they got to get to. Facts. And, you know, and it, and I, I'm not going to blame just the people, bro, yeah. because this internet oh, no, bro, is so crazy. manipulative if you let it be. Like, our comments right now would tell somebody, people would DM them, like, nigga, you are the heart of this. Yeah. And then a nigga would start believing that they really the heart of everything. No, oh, facts. God. A nigga could just have a moment. Like a, One yo, moment. Everybody could, if a nigga walk in the room, everybody's acceptable to a moment. Like, a nigga right, might say facts. something funny at the right time, and niggas be like, yo, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. That community shit wouldn't have been lit tonight if you ain't if saying it wasn't what you for said. you. And then niggas start saying, yo, bro, like, niggas and said, all right. So what's your talent though? Like what do you like what do you want to do? Nigga Or uh, what's put, your introduction? Put me in position. That's what niggas say. Hey, put it's funny when they put the niggas are they when it's one person. It's one person. Like they said. What nigga? <laughs> you know what niggas like bro, they. I, I kid you not. I had to I yo, one of my best friends, this nigga used to always call me and tell me what niggas in my hood would say about me and they were We all got niggas like shit. that. Bro, you know what I had to tell a nigga one day? I said, bro, stop telling me what them niggas said yep. because all them niggas gonna die where they live at. Right? Like, them, I said... Okay, I, I ain't go that far, but yeah. I, feel yeah, like, I, I, I didn't mean it from that. Let me put some context behind that. I was like, ah, wait a minute. Let me put some context behind that. I like that. Let me put some context behind it, though, y'all. No, it's real, though. It's real. I'm I ain't you. saying I was gonna do nothing. Yeah, yeah. All I'm saying is, is this. Bro, we all at the age where I done seen the generations before me, the generations before them. I could go to my block right now. It's certain people I know or certain blocks that I grew up on. I know it's certain niggas that's going to be there. Y'all niggas going to be there forever. So why the fuck am I concerned with what a nigga that ain't chase a dream in their life got to say about got me that I'm chasing you. mine? Right. Get the fuck out of here. Facts. And then too, look. What? It's, it's crazy. I was telling the homie this shit today. I say, niggas will swear that they have your back 100%. Mm -hmm. But anytime you're in a real situation, they're not around. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. oh yeah. They're never, they're never around for the for the battles or nigga, 
even just the uh, emotional struggles that niggas go through. Man. Niggas don't call you and say, hey, bro, how's yeah. your kid doing? None of that. They there for all the perks, though. Yeah, they want the yeah, perks. All the perks. Bro. Hey, bro, nigga, I, nigga, Nigga, I've been holding you nigga down for this. How you hold me down? We hey, ain't went no, through no wars together. Hey, wait, no, nah. you gonna be a hot night, you gonna be a summer jam, bro. Yo, bro, I swear. <laughs> hey, wait, no, you gonna no, be a like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I went through some shit. Like, you know what's crazy, bro? And I tell all young kids this. Cause I don't talk about, I, I never talk about like, I, I don't deep dive on gang shit, right? Right. But I always I always tell whenever I, I speak on the platform, I'll be like, yo, one of the worst decisions I made when I was a kid is joining the gang. And the reason why I said that is because me making a decision at 14 years old has followed me into my 30s, mm -hmm. my 40s, my 20s. And, and, and it was a situation I went through where I really was contemplating crashing the fuck out. Mm -hmm. And when and when I was certain niggas I was talking to, niggas ain't have no rap. Like niggas ain't have no, niggas ain't talk me down, niggas ain't talk me up, niggas ain't stay out of it. I had, it's people that did pour into me in that situation. But I was like, yo, you know what? I had to look at my kids and my family and say, I ain't about to lose them over the. You know what I mean? I ain't about to lose it. Nigga, I'm a grown ass man. Bro, it's all a trap, bro. Yeah. <laughs> no, <in> fact. <laughs> and, it, and it makes it worse, too, because I feel like game banging now, mm -hmm. the internet elevates it 50 times oh, over crazy, now. Bro. Because mm. now you ain't got you ain't got niggas in the streets just saying, oh, nigga, you TD, you turned down, bro. Yeah. You have a full community of people saying, nigga, you was a bitch, nigga. Right. Oh, yeah. You letting a nigga <laughs> talk to you like this, you doing yeah. this and doing that. And for people that's not strong minded, they gonna manipulate themselves into an early grave, nigga, no, or life. That's crazy. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, I always say this, bro. Niggas will gas you up to do some dumb shit just to call you dumb Stupid. after you do the dumb they shit. Call you dumb. Yo, I pro bro. I, I say just, you crashed out. Yo, that's you all the niggas. Up. Yo, niggas want You're that. You're too emotional. Yo, bro, that's <laughs> all niggas want. Niggas <laughs> want. Yo, niggas. <laughs> that's because the people they see weaknesses and they're pulling the strings. Oh yeah, that's a that's fact. It. They're projecting. That's a fact. Niggas want you to do some dumb shit so they can be like, man, look at, he had all this shit going on. Now look at him. Let me see if I can control this nigga. Right yeah, no, facts. You know what I mean? I don't like how his shit going because my shit ain't going like that. Yeah, bro. So I'm going to downplay his situation. That's you ain't bro. a real nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah bro. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You know what I mean? It's crazy. Like, I be tripping off this shit, right? Mm -hmm. It could be a nigga with a million followers on his page, mm -hmm. uh, uh, other niggas, influencers with the blue checks. Comment underneath the comments underneath that post, mm -hmm. but it's always the nigga who got like one follower <laughs> <laughs> who comments stand out the most. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> oh, the, yo, the internet, a nigga could hit you with a rock from anywhere. <laughs> nigga be all right. Oh, <laughs> nigga, nigga say the right thing, that shit, <laughs> boom. <laughs> you be like, what the fuck? Like, Bro, you but if you, ever, if you ever click on niggas like that pages and you, yeah, look, yeah, you just yeah. look what they look like, not, you People know, like, you know what? You got it, buddy. You, know that's how they you got it hard enough in life already. I swear, bro. Look, I be playing 2K, right? And I be on 2K. And I remember one day it was I was playing some nigga 2K. And I didn't even say nothing to him. He was like, he said, yeah, nigga, you ain't about to beat me with no Knicks. I was like, all right, cool. So I start washing it. He had the paces. I start washing with the Knicks. I said, bro, I don't know if you like that for, uh, for real. I was just playing with him. He's right. like, yo, suck my dick, you bitch ass nigga. I'm like, <laughs> I said, yo, I start like, I said, you know what, bro? I said, you know why all that's cool? This the only time during your day you get to talk like this. I said, you don't talk to nobody like that in life. In real life. Because if you talk yeah. to niggas like that in life, you either done got cracked in your head and you know not to talk to people, or you know that we on a game, nigga, you're not going to do anything. He was like, drop the Addy, nigga. Drop, drop the, the Addy. Addy is the craziest <laughs> shit. All right, so look. So we're on a game. That's the new shit. We're drop debating. I'm going to give you my address so you can catch a flight. Get 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 a rental and do what? Go all the way up over here, so I can use my Second Amendment right. Yeah, what get the you, fuck out of here? What are you nigga? coming to do exactly? That's nothing. the question. Over two K, over two K. <laughs> yeah, like, but but nigga, <laughs> nigga, fuck the Knicks. Yeah, bro. But we watched. We <laughs> nigga, niggas crash out over nothing, bro. Like, a nigga might do it. Like, you feel drop, me? The, drop the Addy over two K is crazy. You remember bro. that old ass video that nigga <laughs> with the people with the found their IP address? It was at the doorstep. The nigga, the nigga, the, it was, what's that shit called? Cali, Temecula or some shit like Temecula. that? Yeah, yeah I, that was my man Snotty Drippin'. He was, he was arguing with a nigga on Twitter and, over basketball. And that nigga, the, up. the nigga, well, the nigga pulled, tried to pull up on him, drove all the way to the nigga, where, where the nigga was at. That, that, bro. that shit made ESPN or some shit. Facts. <laughs> That's dedication but right bro, there, bro. But bro, niggas is fried, bro. That's what it really is. Like you got niggas that much really time fried. in your day. You got that much time in your day to drive across town to pull a old nigga over a fucking basketball argument. Mm -hmm. No, that'd be crazy, bro. That's amazing, though. <laughs> That's a, yo, niggas is crazy, bro. Because niggas will do it. You give a nigga the opportunity, they do it. <laughs> nigga said, fuck it, nigga. Drop the low, nigga. I'm drop, pulling up. Drop the low, nigga. Drop the low. <laughs> drop the low, nigga. Yeah. Like, no, I'm but I've been, I've been seeing so much different shit like, 
I did, you didn't see that little white boy that got banned on kick? Who, uh, he was walking around Miami. Oh, yeah, he, yeah, he, he eating was. people food. Yeah, yeah, he. Nah. <laughs> oh, come on, bro. <laughs> bro, this shit is but crazy. But when they approached him, the nigga gotta be like 12 or nah, something. Nah, he was with like the shit. Yeah, he was he with was, it. He was with the business. He was with it, bro. He was with the business. Nah, bro. Just eating his food with, off the plate. He bro, just he grabbed the shit. This shit. Yeah. Took a French fry. Out of pocket. She Let me see if I can find that bro, shit. Bro, that shit was so... F- I was like, nah, bro. Nigga just out of pocket. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. The the, the cameras, look, bums taking over. Yeah, Wayno still alive. I'm reading the chat. Wayno still alive. I'm here. I hate, I hate, I hate that era. I, I'm like, I'm ready to see that era in like the uh, whole like, just a disrespectful shit for the internet shit. Yeah, because it's getting Spo- worse. Spoiler like- alert, pun. This shit about to get crazier than it's ever been. <laughs> I agree. This shit about to get <laughs> nasty. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. I mean, until you start seeing bodies drop. Yeah. But, you know, is it going to go that far? Hopefully it don't get there. That's why I'm saying I, I would love to see that end compared to... It's inevitable for it to happen. No, facts. No, it's, that's it's getting too crazy. It's getting too, too Too many crazy. cameras out now. Yeah. Somebody going to somebody gonna catch something. What was the nigga? Uh, Bo- 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 Boot Gang? He, 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 yeah. He, he, that shit off. he changed his life. He changed yeah. his life because niggas clapped him. <laughs> he got clapped. You know what I mean? You got to change your, change your life. He got shot? Yeah, nigga oh. clapped him. Well, see, that's you what play I'm around saying. enough, like yeah, you, you play see what I'm around. Saying? You, you'll, you'll get a fig- life. You'll figure life out, or life will figure it out for you. I ain't gonna lie, like outside looking in, like that should be funny, like to a certain extent. But if it was to happen to me, I'll be hot. Like I'll be seeing niggas oh, at Home for Depot, sure, for sure. and they get a Home Depot that be messing with niggas at Home Depot. I'll be like, oh no, nah, bro, he be doing disrespectful shit. Yeah, bro, Put, like, putting oh, buckets on people's heads. The, 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 the Spanish nigga, <laughs> the Spanish nigga. Yeah, he be disrespectful. Oh my, nah, bro, that nigga is. The, he, yeah, he be taking a bucket and slamming. Yeah, he be doing disrespectful. The nigga Peaky Banish, he be like, you Peaky Banish, and he be like, booga booga the booga. That's what I'm saying. It should be funny. Him, the <laughs> the, be funny. the true poppy. Man, man, it's man, funny to look at. It's funny to look at. But it's uh, like if it happened to you, it ain't funny. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I, I hope don't nobody never try to prank me, bro. It, 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 See, it's, it's a better chance of, of it happening to you because you're a celebrity. And that's like yep, yeah. that, that's more stripes. My more shit clicks. gonna go more viral if I get Wayne up. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. So See, somebody I, gonna try it. I hope not because uh, see that's the problem, bro. Like I I, I Cause my brand is just me being cool, but if I feel disrespected, is I'm gonna take it there. Like, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. You wanna play? Are we gonna play today, yeah, yeah, nigga? Yeah. Like, feel me? I found a bar. Look, she just told him now they're gonna do it. Nah, look at somebody watching. Look at this shit, boy. Yeah. 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 Ah, hell no. Ah, yeah, he's hell not. Hell he went no. crazy, bro. <laughs> what are they streaming from though? Are they streaming from? They streaming from Kid. I mean, what are they streaming? Like, what um, you- they got they got backpacks and they also got phones you can use. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Oh hell no. Nah. Oh no, he's hit it. One nah, more time. Oh, shit. What are you doing, Hensley? Yeah. For the hey, fucking stream. Anything for the content. Anything for the content. Oh my god, <laughs> bro. Anything for the content. Ah. Nah, bro, this shit is like. Yo, punk, you always remember, remember that movie, Kids right? Idiot. Oh. Oh. Shit. Underage drug use. And look, the girl about to run up on him. What the fuck? Put your hand in my food again, and I'm throwing all of your phones. Yo, oh, yo, you hit her? Don't put your, don't put your hand in my food again. Do not do that. Yeah. Don't do that to people. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Stop filming me. You're a nobody. It's, it's a live stream. You can't stop it. It's a live stream. You can't stop it. I think so. You're a nobody. Touching my fucking phone, touch my phone. I'm gonna actually do something about it. I'm gonna actually do something about it. Yeah, that's the cold situation. This is crazy. These are kids. That's shit. a woman. Yeah. 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 Do you? Don't do that again. Hold up. Hold up. Yeah, shut the fuck up. See? <laughs> 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 Nigga, you gonna be the this one to do this? This is the world the coming. They gonna be making uh, the medication dance in the bookings. Like, what do you do as an adult? Like, like, what is she supposed to do in this situation? Is nothing she can't do. She can't hit the. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. See, hey, one of them little nigga like that be making more than his mom. Mom nah, can't facts. tell him nothing. No, nah, facts. That nigga said anything for the content. He said anything for the content, Bro, man. nigga took somebody food <laughs> randomly and smoking weed. And smoking weed. Like, like come he on. He looked like he's probably 13 years old. Yes. He said 12. He said he's 12. He said he's 12? Yeah. yeah I'd have probably my... got a good ass life. I'd have Great family. We'd have been outside. I'd have put my son on him. I'd have yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, go, hey, go ball him. Beat this little nigga up. Yeah. <laughs> 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 this nigga a lesson. Beat the shit out that nigga. He'd have been sick. Ah, oh, that's the yeah. This the this the new age, man. Yeah, what, what if man. you pack your son out? That'd have been nasty. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. So look, you see. All right, look, 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 look. I'd have been hey, fucking my son. Hey, like, whatever. you jumping in? You see, uh, four or five, twelve year olds jumping your son. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I'm pulling them niggas off my son. That's a fact. Yeah, yeah. You not socking them? You just gonna pull them off? Yeah, I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna push them. Cause you, man. I, uh, 
A grown man punch to a kid? I I go. It depends on. They packing your son out though. Nah, they packing him out. I'm you hear? He's like, Daddy. Nah, nah, yeah, I'm, nah. We we wildin'. Fuck that. I'm beating the little nigga back. <laughs> yo, my son just got into it with some girl that be yo. She be in the gym trying to go viral and shit. Right. Playing ball. He got into it. Punched the homeboy in the face and all that. My my son punched the homeboy in the face. Oh. But she ain't know the she ain't post none of the shit. Okay. But when I seen who she was, I seen her go viral before. She was going. trying to use him for content. Yeah. So uh. she started talking crazy to him. But my son been going to that gym for a minute. So what they ended up doing was like uh, they called the police on my son. They tried to get my son locked up. Damn. Wow. Cause he punched, he punched, he was like, yeah, I ain't want to fight him. Once I heard he was 16, my son was like, I don't care. Like, the nigga had yeah. to be like 24, 25, but my son punched the nigga in the face. Oh, that's old Shout out to my son. It. I got on his clothing line right now. Only empathy coming soon. You know? Only empathy. Only empathy coming soon. Right? Child ain't no son, man. Only empathy coming soon. All the stuff I said is not a, a reflection of my son. He's a good kid. So don't think I was saying he be fighting <laughs> that's this a fire shit. shirt, though. Yeah, Thank yeah, you, yeah. man. Yeah, it's my son line. Him and his homeboy, Jared. Shout out to Jared up in the Bronx and all that. You feel me? We about to drop that shit soon. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to him, man. Facts. Well, hey, well, yeah, when you ready, get the link. We're going to buy some pieces, man. Yeah, we're going to, you know what I mean? We're going to do this shit right. Anything you know? for the content. Anything for the content. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm about to start saying that shit. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> Anything for the content, Anything got for the content. it. <laughs> that's going to end bad, man. That is going to end bad. I pray it don't. I pray it. That's why I say I hope it's, I know it's not, but I'm saying I hope it do because it's going to get crazy, you bro. Listen to shit, bro. Destruction. Look no, at this, but look, no, I'm I saying, saying like, look at this. Man, like this movie, man, this this movie they did in the '80s, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Running Man. They had the Running the Man. Running Man. You remember that shit? Yeah, hell yeah. Yo, they, they had niggas on a on a game show competing to die, competing. and they was televising the shit. You feel me? Until all them niggas just like, we gonna overthrow this shit, and that's what this shit is right now. The Running Man, bro, niggas is crashing. It was out another. It was another movie I seen. It was, it was an eighty. Yeah. Fuck. Right. It's an old ass movie. It was talking about how like the world was going to evolve and shit like that. Well, damn, I gotta find that shit. But bro, it's like they predict everything of where we're going too. Yeah, even no, if you watch Wally, no facts. Wally, uh, fucking Demolition Man. Demolition Man was another yeah, one. Demolition, Demolition Man. Man. What's crazy is think about this, bro. From the time we was kids, all them numbers that we seen in movies, we didn't pass that. All that. Like we, we don't pay, remember 20, we see a twenty twelve in the future twenty two thousand five. Yeah, nigga, we twenty twenty four. But I feel like the only time that I that I thought that something was really gonna happen mm -hmm. was with that Y two K. Oh yeah, they yeah, was yeah, pumping yeah, that shit up crazy. That, that yeah, they was that pumping Y two K. That and then remember in twenty twelve, yeah, idiocracy. That idiocracy. Movie. No, idiocracy. That's the is movie the right shit. there. Terry Crews was the president. Yeah. Yeah. Terry idiocracy. Cruise. That's exactly what we living right now. Idiocracy. Yeah. No, nah, that Y2K bug was crazy. The build up was crazy for the that. The build up was crazy. They had niggas thinking the world was for the end. Facts. That's the one time after that it was over. I don't think uh, me personally, I never fell for nothing else after that. That yeah. time I was like, I was I was on edge. I don't like, know the Mayan calendar too. Happened. I kind of was like, yeah, wasn't that in like 2012 where they yeah, said yeah, and they had and they had the 2012 movie with the Rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was, I ain't gonna lie, like because. 2012, we had a badass storm in New York, and I was like, damn, is it going it down? Like, yeah. yeah, I was like, it's going down. This shit was just rain. I think you know the mean? closest thing we got while living, is, I would say, is like COVID. quarantine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was That's crazy. when you was I like, oh, lie, shit, what's going to happen? That was crazy. I was out here during that time, bro. LA yeah, was, nobody dang, would never bro. think, nobody would never think like, they're shutting the whole world down. No, the fact, world. Times Square, bro. I never seen Times Square look like that when I, ever in my life. We're Nobody shutting in the Times world Square. down. And, and I remember, like, when it first started happening, they started talking about they was gonna start having the National Guard come out. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're yeah. like, nigga, this shit is crazy. I remember, I, I mean, I went to Target that day when they was like, when it was like the day that the lockdown was gonna yes. happen. I'm mm -hmm. out with the Target. It was just crazy seeing people just grabbing like Everything. unnecessary shit. Yeah. Oh, bro. Like, every time I went to every time I went to Walmart, it was a line. It used to be a line like to get in a club in, in Walmart. Like, <laughs> they said The Rock crazy. was not in 2012. Whoopsies. You said what? <laughs> they said <laughs> The Rock wasn't in that movie. He in every other damn movie. Oh yeah, 20. But he was in a movie like that though. It wasn't that movie, but it was a movie that where the world was in it. No, he was a damn. He was in a movie. I remember it was like earthquakes or something. Yeah, it was the world was ending. It was some shit where the world was ending. Shit, the Rock in a million movies. The Rock in hell of shit. Get that yicking. Getting that, yeah, for sure. Hey, right. what, do you plan on one day going to movies and shit? Like, are I've you like? In, I've been in one movie before. What's okay. your paper soldiers? I, I, nah, I you my dog. Too. Ah, okay, yeah, that's a classic yeah, though. I had a cold yeah. joke, but I was like, I gonna do my dog like that. Well, you go, <laughs> nah, nah, I gotta do it. Anything for the content. You know, come you on, know what niggas say there? Movies. The first thing comes to a nigga, but I was like, yeah, Tubi. But look, <laughs> <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah, listen, I'm trying to holler at you. Tubi. Coming you can go to build a, some shit over there. Hood oh, near you. Oh god. The Legend of Pot Lord, starring Wayno. Nah, but I thought about you know what I really San Andreas. That's the one. San Andreas. I want to do um. I I do want to do like voiceovers for like cartoons. 
cartoons and shit. That'll be fire. Yeah, I want to do voiceovers. Like, I want to do voice acting. I see they brought back uh, Good Times, but in cartoon form. For real? Y'all saw that? No, I ain't seen that. Um, 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 my boy in it, uh, Black Jesus. Slink. Oh, okay, okay. Slink in it. Shout out to Slink. Yeah, they brought it back in cartoon form. Damn, I think it's on Netflix. Funny. Yeah. Damn. Uh, uh, I mean, would you watch, uh, uh, besides the homie being in there, what, does that interest you coming like from your time? I would, I would, I would have rather seen like a real remake of that, not a cartoon. If you are gonna bring back a cartoon from my time, that's about that. Bring remake back the, good times. Bring back though? the PJs, cause the, the, the PJs. Bring back the PJs. <laughs> bring back the PJs. I feel like, yo, we, we, we need black cartoons though, man. Like Boondocks, man. That was perfect. That shit was perfect, bro. They was talking Legendary. about bringing it back, and it then... was. But I heard Aaron Magruder don't want to get canceled. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a, it's it's a, a whole different, different time, era. It's, a different time, it's better to leave it alone if you're not going to do it the right way. Yeah, bro. But what, what's crazy is, though, South Park been rocking since I was in high school, and I'm fucking 41. South you know Park was going crazy. And they always pressed the line. South Park is crazy, South bro. Park was pressing the line. Before South Park, you know, you had Beavis and Butthead. Beavis and Butthead. Beavis and Butthead was, was shit, like that bro. late night cartoon. That was that shit. Yeah, and it was right. like, they was but pushing see, the line. I remember growing up, they were saying the Simpsons was doing a little too much. Simpsons and the Simpsons ain't shit. Compared, yeah, compared to pushing to no line like South Park. Nah, South Park Simpsons. is insane. Simpsons. Once I got into South Park, I said, the world is crazy. Nah, South Park is insane, bro. You can't even play half that shit back. But it's South Park, yo, bro, Fuck just think about the culture. brand of it. Yo, I was going to the movies to see the movie of that shit when I was South a kid. Park, yeah. Hell yeah, that shit was lit. What was that, 97? Yeah, like 97, I wanted to see that crazy. shit back. That shit was lit. Kept, I think it was too young. Kept killing <laughs> Kenny, man. Right. Yeah, they had to stop. That's the only thing they had to stop. They and then they took Kenny Hood off. Like, remember they took Kenny Hood off and shit? And that nigga want the devil. Yeah, man. Yeah, the devil. Nah, bro. The devil. Ain't that it, shit was crazy, ain't it bro. crazy? Like, they, they keep bringing the old South Park shit back when the devil was talking about, uh, it was like, did he have this? Yeah, I seen party? that shit. Yeah. I was like, God. I seen damn. that shit. And the de- what was crazy is they made the devil like a bitch. Like, he was like a bitch. Yeah, like, yeah. That shit was he was crazy. fucking with a Hitler. Yeah, he was fucking with Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> fucking with Hitler. That's, That's what I'm saying. Listen to this shit. Hitler. The devil fucking with Hitler. Like, come on, bro. It's certain shit you can't even really say like that. Niggas had a, they got a whole cartoon. They could drop that shit tomorrow. They don't care. That's crazy. Facts. Yeah, man. Times change though, man. Cause now you got Super. niggas you got niggas dropping disc records and apologizing two days later. Oh, Whoa! My God. I was gonna say after the commercial, but we here now. Yeah, we here now. Let's talk, wait, no, let's talk about Two that. Two days later, bro. Ever in hip hop, have you, you know, heard or seen something Dreamville. like that? Never you just hosted you know, Dreamville. Wait, 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 Dreamville. wait, wait, wait. Before you answer that, mm-hmm. ooh, okay. Is K Dot mm-hmm. the boogeyman of hip hop? All right, so look. Nobody wants, it seems like nobody wants smoke with I'm Dot. I'm going to give y'all niggas my whole spill on the whole shit. Come on, come on. Beginning with K Dot. Out the three, K Dot, my favorite. Been okay. my favorite since I seen a nigga perform at Sneaker Pimps in 2011. Okay. When Section 80 was out. Love K Dot. Going crazy. Um, K Dot to me, he's not now. This is a fact. He doesn't have a battle. We just know that he's very, very lyrical skilled. We know that he ain't not. We know that the nigga is no joke lyrically, but he mm-hmm. does not have a battle with anybody. So I was, I wasn't with the whole boogeyman narrative only because I'm like, I right, Drake, he's proven. Like you know what I mean? He didn't right. had a couple spats and he subs niggas every time he drops. He got every time. So, so you know he talking about certain people, right? Now. I felt like when K-Dot did this shit, I was like, all right, we lit now, right? I felt like, to me, what K-Dot did on on Like That, he spit on them niggas. Now, if a nigga spit on you, I don't want to hear, at least you ain't put your hands on me. Right. You feel me? Like, like I, oh, you spit on a nigga face, nigga, yo, at least that nigga ain't hit me. Yeah. Nah, bro. But this ain't his first time doing it. It's not his first time doing so, it, but- So this is why I say the boogeyman thing, okay. right? So- Remember the BT Cypher? Yes. Well, and he said, yeah, ha, 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 high five. Yeah. That shit, yeah, yeah. And he throwing shots and he let, on a public stage where you know it's like niggas directed towards you. Yeah. Right? Niggas don't say nothing about niggas it. Niggas don't say nothing. Niggas don't say nothing about it. And then he dropped control. Yes. But see, he get on control. He sh- he going crazy. It seemed like nobody want to respond. I thought control was more <laughs> tasteful though. Like when they, this is why. I thought it was bro, more tasteful. Who has, who has had the boss to get at Kendrick? Nobody. Nobody. That's why I cut a boogeyman of this shit. No. And we not even being now, biased. Look, now, look. With the, the that with Cole, bro, this is what I said. I was like, yeah, he got to say something. My thing was, somebody, my homegirl, Nyla Simone, she asked me, Adrianville. We was Adrianville. She said, what do you think about Seven Minutes Drill? I said, he could have kept that shit to himself. Yeah. Because the reason why I felt like he could have kept that shit to himself is because, bro, if you going to go out, you know who you up against. Right. Whether he a man or not. I don't want to hear all that cool, friendly shit. You can't come half ass. You can't, bro. Yeah. 
and, and see, my perspective is different because I was around kissing them niggas. I was around the young guns when they went at everybody from everybody in New York. When they went at Q, the QB niggas, when they went at everybody. I was around Beans when he re- went at Jada. You know what I mean? When him and Styles was going back and forth. So my perspective is, niggas get this. This is some shit we know nobody not going to get hurt. Like it. No. Nobody yeah. not. It ain't nothing yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. So lyrically, go at it. So when I seen that, I was like, oh, you feel me? Like, come on, brother. Like, come on, man. But see, come even on, even when the seven minute drill came out, mm-hmm. I was sitting there like, okay, Cole, if anything, he knows what to do when it comes down to lyrics. Like if 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 Kendrick was gonna have somebody that he can go back and forth with, yeah. out of him, Drake, I was like, nigga, Drake is gonna be calculated, he gonna say some different shit. But I feel like lyrically, Cole is is on, on a whole nother level. So when he did that seven minute drill, yeah. I'm looking at it like, okay, he's throwing a little shot back yeah. and he's ready for the real battle to begin. Nah, he wasn't ready. That's what's bad. And that's, yeah, he now we ready. see. But see, I think, because yeah, exactly. cause this another thing niggas try to run with that whole, well, you know, most of it was directed at Drake. No, he said first, when he said first person shooter and all of that shit, because Cole, Cole bigged him up on first person shooter. You know what I'm saying? He said, motherfuck the big three, it's just big me. That's to both y'all niggas and anybody who yes. got something to say about it. You feel me? So with Drake, I, I feel like I, my thing now is like, I'm like, I don't know if he going to say anything. Yes, he is. He going to say, because oh, that's another weird. thing. It's a weird I'm, space. They, they, I don't know if it's confirmed mm-hmm. or not, but I seen today that, that Kendrick is on, we still don't trust you. Yeah. The shit that's coming that's out on Friday. <laughs> if he do another nah, one. Nah, bro, I'm going to keep it 100. If, if he, he do, do it, one, bro, if he bomb on niggas bro. again. Niggas got to say something, Listen, man. let me tell you why. I'm here Cole's out it. the race. I'm Cole's out the Cole's race. out the race. Drake has an advantage. What's the advantage? I'm going to tell you why Drake has an advantage right mm-hmm. now. And it's, it's a good advantage because, to me, he don't have to go toe-to-toe with Doc. Because okay. he has so many beef with different niggas right now. Yeah. He can drop a... Ultimate this getting at multiple people. Okay. And niggas is gonna be like, nigga, Drake got at everybody. Look, <laughs> it's gonna take the heat. It's gonna take the heat off of him. But see, really gonna have to spar. I'm happy with that, that you know what I'm saying? That. I'm happy that That's you said hilarious. that, AD, because I've been saying for years that I would love for Drake to drop a motherfucking takeover where, where he attacks everybody. Because everybody. because my thing is that he Drake, could do it. He could no, he could do it. But see, that takeover prompted that ether. You feel me? So it's like I I'm gonna keep it hundred, bro. I just want to see niggas lyrically bout. I, I wish with, with all of this big three shit, we never got a chance to see these I niggas all on the same Ooh. on on the same track and just go out. Cause niggas used to do songs together, bro. We don't even get that no more. Yeah, yeah. Cause even look, I, and I think first person shooter is a great song, but the way Drake approached it, he approached it from a record standpoint, not like so lyrical. And he approached it from a song standpoint, while Cole arguably got has the best. To me, that was the best verse, the best verse last year. You feel me? I want to hear niggas go at it, bro. Cause, cause it's some shit that we ain't got to worry about nothing happening. I right, think, right. I think Drake knows that Kendrick probably said something else. Yeah, and he's waiting for everything to be shot. He waiting for it. But see, that's the thing about because look at the subliminals. It ain't gonna stop there. Look at the, yeah. No, it's not. It's not it's gonna not. stop. Yeah, it ain't gonna stop. Look there. at the subliminals he's doing right now. He put the trophy up. Yeah, he got yeah, the notepad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 he's he's getting the anticipation, but I'm like, if right now uh-huh. he got Ross coming at him, yeah, you yeah. got Metro Boomer coming at you, Beautiful. you got Beautiful. Future, yeah, you throwing you throwing shots at Travis Scott, you know, nah, I'll, but he, but I'll, no, I, nigga, Beautiful. no, he, said he do Wait, that every no. show, Wait, no, you my homie. Yeah, nigga, ain't no way I'ma go on stage and tell a nigga, hey, play that shit. This yeah, no, nah, that's a fact, that's nigga, a fact. no, yeah, nigga, no, beautiful, beautiful. No, it's nigga, Travis Scott in that too. Yeah, yeah, no, listen, I, this is my thing. I'm here for it. Because cause this is the thing, right? Regard, yo, Drake has the ability to get at everybody, and I think he should. I think he should, because everybody, you know, they've been poking at the hair with the barrettes right, or whatever right. he's been doing, how he's been dressing. Everybody been saying, oh, he hanging with Yachty. Why is he hanging with Yachty so much? He need to get back to this, this, that, and the third. And he, it, this is an opportunity for him. To really just set it on niggas, I, but, I, I, and that see, listen, if he had to go at Dot by himself, yeah, just them two, that's a different type of battle. Yeah, nah. but right now, I feel like he can get a couple bars off on Dot and, go, and go get at, at everybody else, and yeah. he niggas gonna be like, nigga, he got at everybody. And Dot go get his Ooh, kryptonite. Just, oh no, Dot gonna get Dot gonna go get that kryptonite. No matter but, but, what, there's Dot kryptonite. There's kryptonite. Dot, I think he has kryptonite named Pusha T out there. There's there's kryptonite. All right. Look, Did I do that. It's another story. Listen, he, 
I, Pusha T read it too. He's still. I know, but I don't think I don't think they're gonna I don't think that gonna go there because I think that that is. <laughs> that is a West Coast nigga, bro. I, me, He's gonna go to the pits of hell. I think, to, to get crazy. This is what I Drake gonna get Cole petty. Drake did. is petty. Drake is gonna get petty. This is what I th- this is what I thought Cole should have did. Let's let's just play fantasy football for a second. Going to Dreamville, I was like, man, you know it'd be hard if Cole bring all his niggas out on stage. He give all them niggas Dreamville chains because we haven't seen one yet. He give everybody Dreamville stay, uh, or, and, and then drop just a, a nice solid 12 bars at KDOT. But then on Monday come with a 24 and then let let Jig get a 12 and 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 him threaten the shit out of Baby King. Instead he came with a uh, 12 uh, apology. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga said take that shit out of Take the song down. Yeah, man. I, That's but the you weakest know what? shit in hip hop ever, bro. I don't agree with, yeah, I don't agree with this shit or whatever, but one thing I can say about, I think that like his relationship that he knows he has with 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 that weighed on him, and 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 at that I don't give a like to me I don't give a fuck, bro. It's wartime. And everybody out the way. And he was gassed up. You gotta remember he was on tour with Drake. Yeah. But the day after, yeah, he get off tour all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah. They switch yeah, up. Hey, he thinks say, oh hold on, bro. I ain't gonna lie. We about to get the best summer of hip hop we got in a long time. Bro. Hopefully, if. If. if nobody stops, steps I, in and I, I stops don't see, this shit. Because I'm going I'm to tell, tell you this, right? Mm-hmm. Everybody's disappointed in Cole. Shout yeah. out to academics, too, because academics, nah, moving, he amplifies <laughs> shit. Yo, I Come wish on. we was on EDS. Oh, nah, nah, level, bro, was on... When it comes down to that. But yeah. I feel like right now, if Drake does shit the right way, mm-hmm. it's going to put him up that Mount Rushmore even more. No, absolutely. A hundred percent. And he knows this right now. Now, he knows, bro, he... That nigga, he's very calculated, but so is Dot, bro. What was crazy? Look, the craziest thing about Cole shit was when he tried to diss to Pimple Butterfly, bro. Mm. Like, it's like, bro, you know you can't say, you know that you love that album. Yeah, come on. You know what I mean? Like, you know you love that album. Like, but then what was crazy is the niggas that was co-signing the actions. Because when he said that shit, you could, I went, I couldn't believe the amount of people that was co-signing that shit. Like, yeah, Oh, man, yeah, they was going crazy. That shit ain't even that good. I'm like... To pimp a butterfly ain't that. I told Punch, I seen Punch um at Dreamville. I said, Punch, bro, I said, man, it's mad undercover haters in this shit. Oh, no. Bro. Punch tweeted it's, that shit. Yeah. He said, y'all just showing y'all ain't like Doc the whole time. The whole, the whole time. time. The whole time, bro. Yeah, that the shit crazy, time. bro. That but it's, crazy. And it seemed like y'all ain't like him, but y'all niggas are scared. They don't want no smoke. Cut a boogie man, bro. Yeah, I can't wait. They don't I want can't no smoke. To see how this shit go, bro. I ain't gonna. Fr- and it, then I'm gonna keep it hundred. I don't like the narrative that all the people trying to play. I said this shit on my live. How niggas like, yo, he a grown man. You know what I mean? This is a grown man embracing grown man. man. Fuck all that. Fuck all, Fuck all, all that, that, nigga. That. It's wartime. Niggas said them niggas killed your cousin, man. Nigga. The fuck, you know what I mean? <laughs> niggas killed your cousin. You jumped out the car. Yeah, man. Yeah. Niggas killed your cousin. You gonna let them niggas do that shit? Hey, no. Let out me here. out. Nah, Let me man. out, though. For real, bro. He got up out of there. I'm like, nigga, come on, nigga. You act like, nigga, he swung the first punch, nigga. This, you make it seem like. Especially like when you we wrong. know it's not no shit that's on no different type of timing. This man, is all that nigga, bars, nigga. That nigga Cole should have went to Drake and them niggas should have dropped a whole fucking mixtape. Nah, facts. <laughs> That nigga J. Cole. That would crazy. That would crazy. Cole. Yeah, I, I can't give you the big... Them niggas could have did a video, bro. I, I can't just, give him the big three title no more. I can't. I, I, I Just for hip-hop sake, it's like, oh, that was a letdown. Wait, I'm, yeah. So so y'all, so y'all every, everybody's what? on that right now that, that the big three is over now for Cole. Come but, on, but, but, bro. But, but, but hold on. This is what we want to see, though. But at the same time, He's a top I, I'm nigga. not... Even though he did that, and this is a chink in his armor, Cole is still one of the greatest niggas ever. I, I feel not, you, but it's a big chink. There, it's a big chink. It's I ain't going to say... Because it's a chink we've never seen before. It's a big chink. This is some shit we've never seen before. This, this is shit very new matters in your, in your story when it's told, bro. It does matter. It definitely uh, unless, matters. Unless this shit's a play. Nah, it ain't no play. What play? It ain't no play. What play is there? It ain't no play. Unless it's a play. What play is there? no play, bro. This we don't. This no that play. nigga Cole come out and drop some crazy diss. Nah, this ain't no play. And I'm gonna keep it hundred. Even if he would, even if that was a play, that shit, he done tainted people's ears. That's not the right approach. He done, he done tainted people's ears. If it if, was if a he play, he did do that. He tainted niggas' ears. Like niggas is not jacking that. That's not cool, bro. So who who niggas replacing with J Cole is the big three now? I ain't man. Because I see people put, put future in there now. <laughs> but future, let, 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 hold on. Let me give future <laughs> some some grace, man. Future one of my favorite niggas and been one of my favorite niggas for the past 14 years. And when I be telling niggas this, niggas be like, oh, but he just, no, Future rap for the streets. He talk about real shit. That nigga, that, that shit, Where My Twin At, that's on the last song on that album, 
going through that right now. My man in the, in, my in the twin, man. yeah, bro. In my man, my man in the courtroom man, fighting for his life. So it's like right. niggas try to reduce future to just a club artist, bro. That nigga make music for everybody. He make shit for the chicks in the club. He make love songs. He make street shit for street niggas. He make street shit for niggas that's going through real real times. Right. Future one of the best, man. He don't he do is, it the though. same way that everybody else do it, but he one of the best. That's a for fact. sure. For sure. Hey, so, but if I'm dot, I'm getting that coal again. Yeah, if I'm dot, I'm, nah, if I'm dot, I smell blood in the water, bro. For sure. I smell blood you in the water. You don't get to get that off and just nah, say, I'm sorry. Yeah, you don't, you don't get to say, no. Yeah. Like, you gotta get called a mark. You don't yeah. get to say that to Pimple Butterfly was trash. You gotta bro. get called a mark. That one nigga time. put niggas to sleep. You don't get to do that. You know what I mean? That's what we do. We West Coast niggas. We gonna call hey, you a wait, mark. Wait, wait, that album coming out Friday? Oh, we're I'm, Friday. I'm waiting to hear dot again. Oh, if dot get, get, get off again, Oh, man. Nah, if he get over again, I ain't gonna lie, you man. You think he gonna get off again, though? Yes, nigga. That's the only reason Yo, if he's that, going nah, back on the album. Bro, if he's on this album, two different albums, back to back, he's the toughest nigga, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Getting off this again? Nigga tough. Doubling back, getting off again, it would be crazy. Yeah, he's tough. I ain't gonna lie, bro. But if he's he was tough. to do that, I think, see... Drake be ahead of the curve on a lot of shit too, bro. He be knowing Yo, shit. Yo, I'm not gonna sit here in front like Drake not that nigga, bro. Drake be ahead of the curve. He, he the nigga, because he's... Bro, he's been the example. It's nobody that's had a run like this, bro. Nobody. Nobody. I say I'm a Jay-Z fan to the core. Me and Academics used to go back and forth about Jay-Z, Drake all day. Jay is going forever be my GOAT. This but a, my GOAT did not have a fucking run like this. This a cold run, Fact. nigga. It's crazy. For a long, like, Wayne had a run. Wayne this, had a run. This killer Wayne run. Yeah, like, it, this is insane, bro. Like, I this this don't make no yeah. sense. And, but that's why I feel like he's about to be so strategic. Mm-hmm. He going to drop some shit. Nah, he going to come with some Drake shit. Drake cannot not drop nothing. Yeah, he going to come with some shit. He cannot ju- he cannot not drop. He going like, well, to come with some shit. It's not it's, it's not happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Over. What's poppin'? Yeah. What's good, Jeez? Yeah. Hey, yeah. See, chillin'. What's That's poppin'? crazy, yeah, man. He, he, gotta, he, he, gotta, he got to. Yeah. He got to. He I, knows. I mean, you know what's coming, but I don't think it's going to come out people expect it to like. Yeah. Cause he's he's strategic like that, bro. He he just ain't gonna give it to the because everybody's saying drop right now. He ain't gonna let niggas tell him when to drop. Yeah, he ain't gonna. Let, and I don't think he you know should. Like I don't I don't yeah. think that he has to drop in twenty four hours or a week. I think no. that the nigga got to play. As long shit. as he deliver and play, yeah. he's gonna do his homework. Oh, he's gonna come with something. But, but th- you know what I like about this shit too? Because the biggest misconception in rap is that niggas don't talk about other niggas. All these niggas talk about each other. Facts all the time. So it's all types of shit that niggas may know or not know or got. But that's what makes Kendrick a harder opponent, because bro. Because niggas don't know shit about this nigga, He don't be bro. on the scene. <laughs> he don't you chill with these me? niggas. You don't see this nigga at these shows. Correction. Nah. He not fucking around. Correction. Around. Y'all don't know shit. True. That's a fact. True. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. True. <laughs> that's what it be. True. That's True. a fact. Like who? Nobody would have thought that Ken, uh, Drake had a baby coming. Who would have knew that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. But somehow somebody knew. Pusha T yeah. got the information. Got the info. So it's like everybody got something that could. And it was crazy because something because before that, mm-hmm. nigga, the Duppy nigga uh, freestyle. I said, oh, now, man, w, Drake is cold. Duppy freestyle was. <laughs> they got overshadowed bro. with the Duppy freestyle. Bro, was no bullshit. Cold. I'll never forget. I talked. <laughs> the, that I, motherfucker was hot. I talked the um. I talked to Pusha. When W Freestyle came out, and he asked me, he said, "Push it, mad composed." He's like, "What do you think about it?" I was like, "I ain't gonna lie, I like, this shit is good." Yeah, I think it's good. I said, "I don't know what you are gonna say, but it's good." He was like, "Ah, huh, all right." He's like, "I just wanted to see what you thought." Cause he had that though. <laughs> yeah, he, no, dead ass, bro. He's like, "I just wanted to see what you thought." No, because he had that info, Ooh. bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, and I ain't know that. You know what I mean? Like, I ain't know that. Even yeah. just, bro, the way that they did it. Like just having the black face, the way he delivered having, the info, having that info, because at the time so everybody's like, "Hold on, See, what do you mean?" I ain't gonna I lie, bro. It fucked up the whole run. You know what niggas gotta do, y'all? Niggas gotta bring back the summer jam screen, bro. Niggas need the summer. Like remember the summer jam when 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 Jay this Nas and, 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 and Prodigy and all yeah. that. When the summer jam screen and 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 um Drake did it with Meek. You know what I mean? When he did back to back at OVO Fest and he and put he up was, all the memes was, he, and all that shit. He went cold. Niggas need it. Niggas. Niggas gotta bring the screen back. Like niggas gotta, you know what I mean? Like this gotta be a play, bro. This gotta be a play. Like we gotta be talking about this shit for the next. Let me, let me ask you something for a New York nigga, right? Because yeah. I was I was watching Angie Martinez talk mm-hmm. about when they had put up Ether verse verse Jay Z shit, mm-hmm. um, and, was hard. and New York voted for Ether. Mm-hmm. So she said why they were doing a show. She didn't know Jay Z was gonna be there. Yeah, but right when she had to announce that Ether won, mm-hmm. she saw Jay Z walking past. Uh huh. Right? 
Mm-hmm. So she also went on to say this, and this was like, I was like, wait, let me make sure I ain't taking this out of context. She said, Jay Z, after he lost, he apologized because he said his mama. Because he did super, no, because he did super ugly. So they, what did he apologize for? So when he, um, what he did was on Super Ugly, he talked he about Nas like, baby mom. Yeah. He was talking about With condoms how, in the baby seat. Yeah, he 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 was talking about him. He threw AI in it. You know what I mean? He was saying that him and AI was both hitting Nas baby moms and all this shit. And I think his moms said something to him about it. Yeah, he did a he did apologize. He yeah. apo- he did apologize because he was saying about how the, the and I ain't gonna front, Super Ugly was trash. Like it just wasn't a good record. Yeah, and, and, and Irv Gotti piped pipe him up. I love Super Ugly. Like super it didn't ugly? stand the test of time. I like Super Ugly. The song. I it didn't, didn't like, stand the test of time at all. Yeah, it, yeah. it didn't. Like nobody even talks about. Yeah. Now when they came back and he did Blueprint, when he said and the Take little over. homie Jungle is a garden to me, you know what I mean? And then Nas did Last Real Nigga Alive. I feel like Blueprint Two, that song beat Last Real Nigga Alive when Last Real Nigga Alive was another Jay Z diss on a God's Son album. But yeah, Ether was cr- bro, Ether. Was the it was a chink in the nigga armor? It was like, bro, I ain't gonna front when Ether came out, bro. I, I was like, nah, this is insane. Dude. And I was Ether came out. I was eighteen when that shit came. And that's out, the bro. one thing. That's what I'm saying. That's a big chink. Going back to what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's the one thing that can't shake his like his story. It's yeah, always yeah. in there. It's always gonna be yeah, like Ether, you lost. Bro, the Ether nah. became what is that? It became a verb or some shit. Like Ether is a, a like they put that shit in a dictionary. Yeah, yeah. yeah. As as like a way to but, highly forever. disrespect a person. Like that's insane, bro. Yeah. So this is a, this is gonna stand on his uh you know on his shit yeah. on cold shit. I you apologize, bro. My nigga Cole. I, yo, Cole, I love Cole too, man. But they frying my nigga, bro. This was highly anticipated. We wanted this so bad. Everybody yeah. like, but hip hop we need this, yeah, nigga. Like, yeah. it's the big three. Now we here, nigga. Who? Who gonna be the last man standing? Yeah, man. And one, of, them, one of them gonna have both of y'all. That's what I say. The that's boogie man. The fuck the big three. Bro, that's tough. <laughs> nigga, nigga bump! Because like, when a nigga... You, this is the thing I was trying to tell niggas. They're like, he ain't talking about... I said, how you not talking about Cole, bro? He said, fuck that whole shit that nigga say. He talking about him too. He might not... He not... When he ain't say for all the dogs. Like, he ain't throw nothing in there like... KOD like a reference to a Cole album. But yeah, bro. If you stand in the corner... Nigga, hey, y'all niggas on tour. Bro, y'all doing that over there? Hey, fuck what y'all got niggas, going on. Niggas clicking up, all that shit. Yeah. You standing on the corner. That nigga did a drive-by. Yeah, you, you stand on the corner when I start letting off. You shouldn't have been standing there. I'm here for it. Yeah, I'm here for it too, pun. But I it's, on, it's on Drake, Drake now. And Drake gonna deliver. He oh, gonna he's deliver gonna now. deliver. Nah, Drake but, gonna deliver. I but, believe in Drake. But, but, but after, what's, but after what's this, what's gonna be Doc comeback? You gonna see the demon. Because that was that was a jab. You People looking at that like... It's crazy because uh, I saw somebody post. Uh, Kendrick got his first number one that went longer than everybody. Like, wait, that's not even his record. Yeah, that's not even his record. But that's how people look at it. Like, yeah. nigga, that's Kendrick. <laughs> but yeah, like, bro, oh, that was a verse. But yeah, that. So imagine a whole record. The, song, from the, the song's but, already gold. That shit about to be platinum by like. But next week. he took a he took a page out of the back to back book. But by he, by doing this on a record on a real record. That's a fucking, because bro. now when that shit come on yeah. in the clubs, yeah. everybody. Singing that shit, nigga. No, that's a fact. That, that, and the coldest right. line, too. Fuck the big three, nigga. It's, it's just big, big me. me nigga. Niggas, everybody gonna yell that shit Bum. forever. I thought that shit was so funny. He kept saying, we call nigga Bum. <laughs> 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 but I love K-Dot, bro. I think that, like, just talking in terms of, like, Prince who the best, Mike bro. Jack? Yeah, Come bro. on, nigga. Just talking in terms of, like, just lyricism, all that. Because I just, look, I just, this young brother, I be on his podcast, Jay Hill. He from Baltimore. And nigga tried to tell me that Kendrick was one of the most overrated artists ever. And I was like, oh, oh my God. God. I see, I'm not jacking that because th- this the thing, bro. Like Flacco. Yeah, like, yeah, come yeah on. that's, and that's ridiculous, bro. Because my thing is this, right? Like, what was great about Good Kid, Mad City, it was a film. That shit was like a Quentin Tarantino wow. film. Yes. Like, when Jay-Z, when you hear the song Where, where I'm From, you ain't got to be from Brooklyn. No. But when you hear that song, you're in Brooklyn. When I listen to Where I'm From, I'm in Compton. Right, I'm I'm right there. I could fucking I, I could feel everything he's saying, and then you see the correlation of what the nigga go through over there, how we go through it over there, and, and, and where I'm from in different ways. So it's just like, bro, that's a great. His album run is damn near like a DMX album run, mm. for real, bro. Talk about it. DMX, dark and hell is hot. Now we the numbers is different, right? Because I ain't even a numbers nigga, right? But dark and hell is hot. Flesh of my flesh, blood of my blood, and then there was X. Fucking good kid, Mad City to pimp a butterfly, and then mm-hmm. damn, yeah. Right. I don't see Untitled is just them niggas throwing shit out there, right? No, that that's that's not really an album. That's not no album. Nah, nah. Untitled nah. is just Untitled is just a bunch a culmination of songs he was performing and all that that he never put out. Right. That nigga three album run is insane. It's not many niggas that got a three album run like that. It's not. 
Boogeyman. It's not. Good Kid, Mad City is a motherfucker. Yeah, Good classic. Kid, Mad City, classic, like, bro. especially, bro, His first being, is being from here and the way that they constructed that album, bro, Yeah, like, that shit is... That shit was amazing. No, it's yeah. insane. Bro, I remember, you. do you know my man Ryan Press? Yeah, I know Ryan Press. Bro, yeah. Ryan Press, yo, Ryan, me and him started together. He was at Rockefeller when I was at Rockefeller and all that shit. I would never forget this shit. I'm at this time, and remember, I, I was managing producers right, right. back in the day. So Ryan, my man, he, he the president of Warner Chapel and all that. I sent him some beats like earlier that week. I'm thinking he calling me to tell me I got a place. This nigga called me 5 o'clock in the morning. I missed the call because he live out here. Right. I speak to him later that day. That nigga say, yo, did you hear this fucking Good Kid, Mad City album? I was, yeah. <laughs> I was happy and pissed off at the same time. Because I was like, I didn't hear it yet, but I listened to that. Bro, you know why Good Kid, Mad City is such a great album? It takes you through every type of emotion. That right. shit make you happy. It make you sad. That shit made me sing about me, made me cry. Yeah, sing about me. He bring you down and the nigga bring you back up. Like that shit is an amazing body of work, bro. And amazing. when I had when my little me, when J J Hill said, nigga, overrate, overrated, nigga, you out of your bro, mind. Bro, even nigga. Mr. Morales and the Big Steppers, bro. That Father Time record. See, I'm not a big <sighs> fan of that album. To me, I rank that as a Kendrick fan. That's to me not my fit. It's not horrible, but it's not my favorite yeah, shit from not, Kendrick. That was like that was like his Archie. That's album. his. That's his. Like to me, his yeah, four, four, four. Yeah, let's I mean? just like, get Archie he, real quick. Yeah, he was yeah. talking from a like yeah. a perspective of his own personal growth and all of that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. But I think it's because of the the time frame that he waited. Yeah. so long to drop an album. I don't think that no no matter what he dropped was gonna get people's expectations. Yeah, people they don't know what to expect. Exactly. And when they got that album, they were just like, oh, this is what this took five years to make this. Yeah. Not really judging it for the body of work than what it is, right, though. Man, listen, man. Come the live show was fire, bro. though. I went to the live show for the Mr. Morale. Yeah. yeah. Live show was fire. Bro. And he did three uh, back to back nights at the Staples Center. Right. Damn. Sold out all three nights. Listen, man, that nigga, one of the greatest ever. But I, yeah. you know, even even though this is one of, um, you know, this shit is, is, is bad on, on my man, uh, Cole. It's still, you know what I mean? He's still one of the best, man. But yeah, he he got to chill for. He got to go sit down. And for niggas can't fuck with Cole. That's why I'm I'm that's why that everybody project, disappointed, bro. That project is actually good. Take that song off of it. It's it, it's a solid project. No, that, that song is Take just, it off of it. I don't hear that one. No, no I'm, I'm I'm talking <laughs> I'm, I'm talking about like if, the, if he he should have never said it. He should never said it. That that song power. You should at least let that shit. Okay, no, you apology just, off. Just take, just take it off. It, no, don't it, say it out loud. No, because it, it. But he should have never said it though. Just, ever. He should have never put seven minutes. That shit sound like. Please don't bomb me. <laughs> yes, that's what it was. Bro, I'm sorry. That nah, nigga, hey, look, the nigga Forget said. Me. Nigga said he was at peace. Nigga, I've been at peace. Nigga, I, and them last two days was crazy. Last two days was crazy. You ain't like, all right, memes, I don't want bro. this. I don't want this. You ain't see the Homer Simpson meme where he would. He, they said this. <laughs> yeah, man. Like, back top of the morning, top of the morning. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, man. Uh, yo, that, that's what's crazy about music right now. Because if shit go left or right, the memes is go. Yo, the memes is crazy. And you could be a meme forever. You could be a meme forever. One bro. motherfucking thing. You could be a meme. Like, nah, that's why I said, I posted on the uh, shit the other day. I said, Bill Cosby has to hate the internet, dog. His face is the fucking uh, meme of anything bad that happens. Bro, you that lose, Bill Cosby. Ain't Bill Cosby. Shit, <laughs> <laughs> shit look, at the, look at the Michael Jordan and shit, the crying one. That's what's crazy, bro. That like, shit did it more popular than him. No, no, hold up, bro. We grew up with Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby was in the feds, bro. That's insane. That's insane, That's insane. That's bro. That's insane. You know the first like, thing the I read? The, hu- the, the, first thing thing I, fe- the first thing I read, some, they said someone threw a hot dog at him for telling the joke. <laughs> I don't know if that's true the or not. Hustables. <laughs> I gotta ask any of my niggas in the feds if they seen Bill Cosby come through. That bro. was like the epitome of a black family, bro. Yeah, bro. The reason why I always went stairs in my house was because of the hustables. Yeah, like these the niggas kept running down the bro. stairs. You feel me? And they used to make them big ass sandwiches in the yeah, man. kitchen. Yeah, man. See, shit. I believe the NBC theory that he that, tried to buy. NBC. He tried to buy, it and they was like, "Nope." They put all these cases on you. Yeah, this shit is crazy. But it's crazy bro. how you sitting on that for that long, like all that information people were sitting on. And yeah. They use it against you when mm-hmm. at any given moment. Yeah, we in we in some times, man. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> people yeah. saying Bill Cosby, see? Yeah, it's, it's yeah, forever, yeah. like it's over. That's, yeah, that's over. Not never gonna go nowhere. The but legacy it, but is you gone. know, you know what fucked it up even more? What? Is when he was talking about the Spanish fly in the show. <laughs> oh, I was yeah. like, oh. the, le- the legacy is yo, gone. Remember, He's yo, like the bar- what's it, the barbecue sauce. Oh, hey, hold on. Gonna sleep up my hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Bring it in. Bring it in. I forgot. Hold on. <laughs> we got to touch home base. What? QC. Okay. Mm. There's a lot going on. Oh, listen. Uh, it's a lot going on. Talk about it. 
You know what I mean? So we ain't about to get out of here. I see them. Nah, I ain't getting out of here. <laughs> the city girls. The city girls. Mm-hmm. Today, I mean, they're going viral. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? JT's been going viral. She went at Glorilla. Mm-hmm. She beefing with her. But now we're seeing her go at Not her dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, but y'all though, like, over there, for you being over there, it's like nobody wanna see the team beef. Like, no. Right. Especially on the music platform, because you know how damaging that could be. Once you put that wedge there and you like, all right, we cool again. Like, no, nah, the, the internet today, yeah. they're not letting it go. Facts. They're going to keep it going. Oh, she Facts. hating on you. She's, woo, you better than her. You better. So it's like, now, how do y'all deal with that? Like, how, like, over at QC, like, how do y'all deal with that? Like, Bro, so let me tell you this. The biggest, I, I guess when I found out, when everybody else found out. Damn. You know what I mean? Like, when you just seen it on the internet. So you like, wow. I was like, what the fuck? Like, you know, I, I ain't, that wasn't on my bingo card yesterday. You yeah, know what I mean? Like, yeah. I didn't know that was going to happen. But honestly, I think that, like, for their relationship, see, I haven't known them for that long. Right. I've known I've been I've been around QC for four years. I've been working there for three years. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You gotta let to my now you gotta let them handle that shit. Yeah. I, I think that there's certain relationships that you just can't, can't step get, in. Yeah, you can't step into. You know what I mean? It's certain shit that you like, what the fuck can I say? I can't say shit. You know what I mean? Like, that's for them to handle. Like, I'm talking about the girls, them two. Like they was friends way before they signed the QC. You feel mm-hmm. me? So like certain shit is beyond a record label. Like certain shit is beyond the powers that be. Certain shit is now I'm pretty sure I don't know this. I'm not speaking no facts or nothing. I'm pretty sure somebody called somebody or something. You feel me? But at the same time, it's like you gotta let them handle that shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? That ain't the only internal beef over there though, right? I mean, it's others that that's well known. Mm-hmm. Huh? So that's the only internal beef over there. <laughs> What's the other internal beef? I mean, you got a little baby offset. That shit that yeah, was but going But you know what's crazy, bro? That shit was happening. Like, so even with that, like, that shit was happening when I started coming around. Now, right, I was right. still doing everyday struggle when, like, the whole baby offset. Like, I don't know. And and it, you you know it'd be crazy. This is how I explain shit to all, everybody all the time. I'm from Harlem, bro. I don't know. The, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't, shit. I'm from Harlem, Now, bro. don't get it wrong. We're not holding you responsible. I know that. I'm, I'm saying, saying like. some state property shit again. Uh-huh. <laughs> he I ain't getting my shit, shit again. I'm saying. I'm only getting my own shit Hey, I'm saying from the aspect. I'm saying from the aspect. Now, I'm saying, like, like you got all the answers of what. I'm saying, how does that be? Like, being over there and, like, watching your team in the middle of. One thing I will say. Say is like prior to coming to QC, like I really like Offset is my favorite amigo. You right. know what I mean? And like I was just knowing I was going work on one of his projects, like yeah. you know what I mean? And then that shit happened like right when I was Boom. when I first started talking to yeah. P and all of that shit before I came down. But you know what I mean, bro? It's like what one thing I learned, bro, is like when grown men have problems, let them niggas handle that shit. Real shit. Because I'm not getting in the I'm not but your boy too. Oh. Duke Deuce. Mm. Oh well, 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 uh, well he got that awesome. Bro, so look, Duke, <laughs> that's one that I can speak a little bit more. You got an you offset. Me? Duke, we was out here. We was at Rolling yeah. Loud. You know what I mean? And the thing with Duke is, what I've been trying to get him to understand is like, Duke, you know, that's my brother. Like, we've grown a relationship beyond the music shit. We got the Duke and Wayne O show that we do on actually a, 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 a black-owned gaming channel to call Community, not Community. Okay. You know what I mean? But the, yeah, I'm going to send them season to season. Yeah, uh, <laughs> community, community, they're black gaming, they're black uh, uh, gaming. Shout out to them. Shout Duno to them, actually no. told me that, too. Huh? Duno actually told me that, too. Yeah, because Duno, we did, a, we did an interview with yeah. Duno. Yeah. You know what I mean? But they're black gaming and, and media big, company Big shout-out to them. You know what I mean? Shouts out to them. And, um, you know, when with the whole Offset shit, I think that, like, see, Offset signed Duke. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So like they relationship, they both GD, like you know what I mean? Like they got allegedly, a, allegedly. Yeah, yeah, allegedly. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? They they, they got they got a, a deeper connection. All them niggas love each other, bro. They love each other on certain and, and then when oh, excuse me, when things start getting weary, bro, you just gotta distance yourself. And I had to tell Duke that, like, yo, bro, leave the internet alone. Leave the internet. Because when you when you say something, you give people the, their opportunity to write whatever the narrative is. Mm-hmm. And you don't have to address it in that way. And they're going to amplify it. Right. They're going to amplify it. You know what I mean? But I like me and Duke, we was together. I had a, a, a convo with him that day. And I, I ain't going to tell, bro, I'm like Google. I don't give answers. I give right. suggestions. Right, you know right. Mm-hmm. Like, I just told him, like, yo, bro, I think you should take it down. You know what I'm saying? Because I know what your intent was. It was something that happened, but I knew what Duke's intent was. Right. So I'm like, yo, bro, we know your intent. Just if a nigga feel however he feel... Let a nigga feel that way, bro. We out here getting to the bag. Why right, is right. we worried about some right. some shit like that anyway? You feel some me? Shit like that. Facts. 
Yeah, but you know, just from outside looking in, like you seeing all the QC shit. Yeah, yeah. Like going crazy right now. Yeah, people trying like, to say we, fell, we ain't fall off neither. Hey, but listen, <laughs> you know, hey, listen, it's some good in the tunnel though, because like I heard the Concrete Boys album today. Yeah, and that we shit got some shit. I, right, I so like look, it a lot. We got the Concrete Boys. Shout out the Yachty. You know what I'm saying? DC Two Trail, Caribou, um, my man Draft Day and Camo. You know what I'm saying? Honorary mem- member, Lucky too. I gotta mention my boy Lucky from oh, Brooklyn. Oh, uh, Lucky. Not not lucky from Chicago. Okay, okay. It's another lucky, you know what I'm saying? But we got that out. I got baby money, you know what I'm saying, over baby there. Money baby money, gloss up. You know what I mean? We working on a lot of different things, you feel me? Hey, that um that Conky Boys album, man, that production on that shit is amazing. Listen, bro, I watched I was them, like, damn. I watched them lock in. I I watched them lock in, in the studio for like weeks, bro. I'm talking about every day they was in that bitch for three months straight. And Went crazy. they put a lot of work in. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's what be killing me with doing this music shit. Because you spend so much time. People don't even know what we be dealing with with getting the fucking agreements done and all of that. Right. You put that mm-hmm. shit out and there'd be people like, oh, this shit trash. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> After putting all this work <laughs> in. All that work in. That should be corny. You feel all me? this shit trash. Yeah, that should be trash. Yeah, that shit that crazy. Trash, you feel me? Yeah, that shit trash. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, more than ever, you don't get that all day now. Like, Yeah. Nah, listen, bro. People always, you know... Try to paint shit on, and I be telling people all the time. Listen, I'm not from Atlanta, so I can't really talk on no Atlanta shit. You know right, I mean? right, like, right. I've been living down there for three years, and I still I, I know my way around a little bit. But it's it's two different Atlantas. It's the nigga Atlanta and the Atlanta I live in. You feel me? Like, right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, facts, facts. facts. All, right. all right, cool, man. Well, that's good, man. QC shit, y'all going strong. Keep it alive, brother, because right now shit's crazy. Shit is crazy. <laughs> out here, man. Facts. <laughs> It's, it's looking crazy from the outside, but it you is. Know what it mean? is. You know what I mean. But what I, one thing I will say is, like, I got to salute P and Coach. You know what I mean for building such a great team. Like all of us that for work sure. at that company, we handpicked. You know what I mean. Like we handpicked Paul. For you sure. Know what for I mean? sure. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, how that? How that? How that come about? Because you was with Asylum before that, right? Asylum. Yeah. Asylum. Um, what, what it was was, bro. Like I was doing everyday struggle, and the nigga P P called me. Like we, me and P used to talk on on IG all the time. And then one day he uh he reached out to me. This is when Baby was dropping my turn. Mm-hmm. And uh he was like, yo, I want Baby on that show. You know what I mean? He like, I watch this show every day. I want Baby on that show. He's like, I fuck with you. I'm like, all right. I went to the talented people at Complex. Like, I don't care who y'all got booked. We got to get a little Baby on the show. So we got him on the show and shit. And then that day, Pete told me pull up on him. Later on that day, I pulled up on him. And he just was telling me about, about QC and all the shit they accomplished. And he's like, yo. Like, I fuck with you. I think you're smart. I heard good things about you. And, like, you know what I mean? As far as your work ethic, I would love to have you, you know what I mean? I would love to do some business with you if it makes sense. And then from there, I just started building a relationship with him. You know what I mean? I would follow up. That nigga be out here in LA. I'd be, I be out here doing my own thing. Yo, where you at? I pull up on him. He in Atlanta, pull up on him. Like, I'm make, being, my, being seen. And then one day I was in Atlanta, I seen, told the nigga, like, yo, bro, this is what I'm trying to be. I'm trying to, put, like, be over here with y'all. Like, mm-hmm. this is what I want to. And I ain't just. Work at the company, bro. I picked up and moved my family to Atlanta. Right, like right. I ain't never lived nowhere other than New York and New Jersey, Jersey. my whole life. Yeah, you yeah, feel yeah. me? So it was real different for all of us, but it's it's been good for me. I ain't gonna front. You know what I mean? Shit been good for me. Hustle, you feel me? Big shout out to motherfucking Wayno, man. And also, big shout out to Prize Picks, man. Let's get to the commercial. Shout out Prize Picks. Why don't hear it? Can you Can y'all hear me on the mic? Bro. Well, shout out to Prize Picks. I don't know what happened. We're going to figure that out. Also, big shout out to Slapwoods. You know what I'm saying? Our newest sponsor, premium leaf wraps are made from only the finest virgin all natural tobacco leaves, carefully inspected to ensure the highest quality and no stems on the edges. Pre washed and hand cut for all luxury smoking experiences every time. Premium only products for premium only smokers. Big shout out to Slapwoods, man. That's the Honey Berry edition right there. Yeah. Um, 
Let's get to a lot of these super chats, too. It's a gang of them. All right. Randy Velez, thank you for being here. Valley Boy, thank you for the $5. Ask Wayno about his boy, Meek Diddy. He was a DC lover back on Everyday Struggle. <laughs> would stay defending him when Big Act would talk about him. How do you feel about the state that. of Meek right now with all the uh, social media shit, people trying to call him gay, all of this shit? What you well, feel? first and foremost, I wasn't no D... I knew... Uh, <laughs> pause. Uh, but I, I know Meek since he was 16 years old. So Meek been my, my homie over like 20 years now. You know what I'm saying? So when I defend him, it ain't just about no music. It's personal. That's my nigga. You feel me? And he... You know, I got a great relationship with him. A lot of this shit I don't like. Like him... And Dean, you know what I mean? My man Dean. I known Dean right, since right. he was 13. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, like Dean, like my little brother. So I hate to see the shit that they going through. Them niggas is childhood friends. As far as like, I, I ain't jacking none of that gay shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that, like this my dog. Like, now, what, what I hate is, is that nobody cares about the truth when the lie is more entertaining. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And when I see niggas joke on Meek and all of that shit, like, all right, you get a couple jokes in, but at the same time, don't nobody give a fuck about the repercussions of like what he did with on a day to day. But... My nigga do it to himself because he don't turn the internet off. You know what I mean? Like, right. That that. But I feel like minus the tweets, mm -hmm. everything he does now, they make a joke out of it. No, nah, right? but he knows that. Like, like, bro, I didn't set, I didn't been with Meek, and we didn't laughed about shit happening on the internet when he fell in the snow that time down the stairs. Like, shit, I didn't been around. That's that cool, nigga hit the corner that, when he ran out of jail. That's yeah, yeah. yeah you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, but like the new shit, like viral. Tell him yeah. the rock. Get up. You seen that one? Bro. Get up. Oh, oh, yeah, to get up. Get up, bro. That's how you talk. Get up, bro. <laughs> get up, bro. <laughs> nah, but that's funny. But yeah, but, but real shit, though. Like, I, like, some of this shit be funny, but honestly, bro, like, meet my nigga. You feel me? Like, that's my nigga. I've known him for a long time. It's, it's the tweets, though. Because mm -hmm. I just feel like certain shit, he instead of him laughing it off, Meek should not he's no giving story. attention to a lot of shit and narratives that come in his way. Bro, I'm going to keep it 100. That nigga should not have no Twitter. And you, no. know it's, you know what's crazy, bro? I remember like, so it was like uh, when he was going through all that shit, a nigga, I tweeted something and a nigga said, Wayno well, no tweeting like Meek today, right? And I was like, man, I, I, I put up a picture. Like I, I took a picture of the nigga. Remember that picture of uh, R. Kelly? We had the big dumbass cigar in his mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The nigga yeah. who said it had a big dumbass cigar in his mouth. <laughs> so I put their pictures up Chicago and I was like, I said, bro, yeah, I said, bro, I don't want no problems, right? So I said, I said, nobody could use my can't use this nigga to um the joke on me. That's my homie, right? So he retweeted this shit. Bro, that one tweet got like three million views or some crazy shit. So I had all of the like the bobs. These niggas start talking crazy to me. Oh, like, man. oh, so you fuck with me. Y'all niggas is 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 butt buddies. I'm like, yo, like, you know what I mean? Like niggas going crazy. Like, so but for me though. Academics told me this. Don't fight the internet, bro. You can't. You cannot yeah. fight the internet. Once niggas start talking crazy, you know what I mean? Like, And if it bothers you so much, just don't get no attention to it. No, nah, facts. Stand don't, down, don't my boy. Nothing. Learn about it. The bars from yourself. the Beehives, no, man. They will jump your ass on Yo, the there, Yo, the barbs is crazy, bro. <laughs> Barbs is crazy. I don't think nobody works in Beehive, bro. Yeah, the Beehive? I, see, I never experienced nothing with the Beehive. Man, they was on me for two days straight. For real? What you said? What is on you for? Because I, 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 I tweeted, uh, how that Beyonce album doing? I ain't, I ain't heard nothing. This was two years ago. <laughs> and oh, nigga, it's a number one. But it, but it was one dude that was really logical. He was like, man, this ain't, ain't the typical Beyonce album. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? She did it for the community. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's why we wouldn't. Uh, really I mean, listen, that. bro. That's what I'm saying. Like certain shit, just leave that shit alone, bro. Let it go. Yeah, yeah leave that shit alone. Yeah, like, let it go. That, that, that was the only thing I said. Bro, I remember when Nicki dropped the album. I said, like on Everyday Struggle, I was like, the album not for me. Yo, the Bobs went crazy, bro. Like, like, like the nah. They they that's the yo. They went crazy, bro. Like they say crazy shit. Nigga can't yeah. even have an opinion. Like if you if you not if you not a mentally strong people, I can see how they could break a person. Like, oh, they can break. Sure. Like, if you're not like for sure. If you're not mentally strong, you on the fucking on your phone all day. I can see how they could break a person. Facts. They will break you, especially nah, on Twitter, facts. cause it's all dialogue. Yeah. It, ain't, it ain't about and, pictures and, on there. And even that shit right. now with Meek and fucking Wale, I'm oh, like yeah. that shit is crazy, bro. Yeah, bro. I. I this that's corny saying. though. But but you know what? I, like, I know that's is, your man, but that's corny. No, but it, no, no, it is. Now nah, the reason why I ain't like it is because see, we need context behind shit. Wale was there with Young Chris. You know what I mean? Him and Young Chris is tight. You know how I know Dean, bro? Through Young I know, Chris. No, I know Dean a long time. That's what I'm saying. I know Dean. Dean is is Young Chris. He the Young Guns little homie. That's how I know him. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. From back then. So it's like. 
if niggas, yeah, of course, we know that y'all beefing and all that, but I don't think Wale looking at it like that. You know what I'm saying? And then my beef ain't your beef. Yeah, I don't think, you know, you know I, I mean? I, I, nobody, I don't think he looking at it like that, but I like, Meek just, sometimes I mean, he but, just but you, far, but you know, you know like, I mean? it's, it's, it's hard to tell because I felt like him and Wale never really had a relationship. And then you see like Dean going on act shit and they airing shit out and they're like, oh, yeah, but, now y'all together chilling. But look, but no, but young Chris is sitting right there. That's the thing. You only and see nobody, a picture of them And two. nobody talks about that. Yeah, yeah. nobody is talking about that. But because people don't know, though. People don't know that that's young Chris' little, little, little homie. You feel me? Like, people don't know that shit. <clears throat> that's how it should be. Yeah. Right? Yeah, um, somebody, Thizzy said, just put his phone down. Yeah, you got to put his phone down. <laughs> yeah, you got to put his phone down. You just got to put it down, man. Big I, shout I, out to Ace Boy 909 Dino. Thank you for the $2. AD, that short is crispy, bro. The weight was crazy. I don't, I don't know what you're referring to, bro. Let me know. Um, oh shit! I'm Troy here. speaks Japanese. Thank you for the five dollars. What's up, Wayno? This bro from Trader Joe's. Troy, second time I'm seeing you in the A. By the way, first time was the wing stop. Much love. Yeah, I, re I think I remember. I remember. Yeah, I remember, bro, from Trader Joe's. That's a fact. I seen him the other day. We was chopping it up. I be shot. You know what I mean? Go get my grocery shopping on Trader yeah. Joe's. You know? <laughs> nah, he, he working there. Good brother. I remember him. That's a fact. Shout out to bro. Shout out to Troy. Chris, Chris Scroville, this discount. discount for show. Company <laughs> discount. Chris Scroville, they been two dollars. Pun. What happened to the shirt I won on the member stream? Oh man, I gotta send the motherfuckers out. Point seven. <laughs> I ain't <laughs> <them> out. <laughs> 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 nah, that guy. All right, RJ won't lose. Thank you for the fifty dollars. You said you were gonna play my song last time. You lied to me, AD. You lied I to DM me. DM you also, Canary Gusto. What more do you want? Now I'm going to sleep. By the time I wake up, I better have at least 500 views. But for reals, love you, my boy. You know what I'm going to do for you? RJ won't lose. DM it to me. I'm going to post it on my Instagram story for you. You'll have way more than 500 views for that, my brother. There you go. Nah, that's tis. Balo, thank you for the five dollars. Please, I have no contact with Duno. Be a real one and call him and ask him when am I getting my tacos El Duno shirt. It's been almost a month, fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> None of them be sending out merch, I see. All right. Nah, that's crazy. Seti Nash. Shout out to Seti Nash, man. Thank you for the five dollars. Shout out to Wayno. Good to see him connecting constantly behind the scenes. This this ain't no connecting behind the scenes. Yeah, this ain't behind the scenes. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, this is family uh, shit. You heard? Family. This is, yeah. Real that's shit. beautiful. That's beautiful. Decade in the making. Ray Mysterio, thank you for the five dollars. Ask Wayne, what happened to his podcast? I used to listen to that stuff, man. Get back to potting. Ah uh, man, so uh, my podcast, man, uh, hit me out with Wayne. I was doing this shit. I had a production company. I was doing everything. And then I moved to Atlanta. I'm making. I'm not gonna say it's not an excuse because I could have got back on my shit. But getting this new job at QC, you know what I'm saying? Really leaning into that. Starting my Amazon journey with them. I had my own show at Amazon. <laughs> Connected with Wayno, you know what I mean? I started leaning more towards that, but I'm going to get back to the pod. We got some shit brewing right now. There it is. Facts. Say, I, say, I think for the $2. Facts. AD, homie, do you got any summer plans like NYC trip? You know, I'm always taking trips and shit. Um, <laughs> yeah, just more content, man. I did the uh, first movie review today. I'm um, excited about that. We did the second episode of um, yesterday. That's why I wasn't no community. We was filming the second episode of. Um, Swag school. Mm. And that was gonna be that's gonna be amazing. You know, one of y'all own. Shout out to the ace pit. You know what I'm saying? Havoc. Yeah. Oh. Shout out to Havoc, man. Um Poroto, the people. Thank you for the five dollars. The number one spot was never a hundred about bars. Cole is too soft hearted to sit at the top. Drake and Dot been going back and forth forever. That's why they the big two. <laughs> They're they gonna make it a number thing. There <laughs> no we go. What. Yep, they're gonna run with it. Trap News Network, thank you for the $5. Man, shout out to Rich Trapper. He said, tapping in. Trap News Network, my first car was a 99 Chrysler Sebring JXI convertible mint green with gold rim. <laughs> um, what the fuck? What? Why you say that? That's what, he's, that's what he wrote. I don't know what I'm saying. Why did he say that? Was we talking about Sebring? We were talking about no, our first car. Our first car was a Sebring. Yeah, oh, okay. I said my first car was a Oh, you had a Sebring? Yeah, I did. Yeah, 2004 Sebring. My wife uh, told her that shit. <laughs> <laughs> say hi, say hi. Thank you for the five dollars. AD, speaking of cars, I know you mentioned you upgrading and also getting the A to B car. Will you get an AMG G-Wagon and a Toyota Crown Platinum? That is so fucking random. I used to want a G-Wagon so bad, and once you drive those around a lot, there are not a, a lot of places you can really park them cars like that. <laughs> And then when you go to certain places, too, they ain't got no clearance for them and shit. Nah, I'm cool. You know what I mean? I'm all electric now with all the homies and shit. 
<laughs> yeah, no gas. Are out you electric there. with it? Yeah, yeah, Me yeah, too. yeah. You know what I mean, still with the Benzo family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. But yeah, I, I'm enjoying the no gas shit right now. Nah, now, it's, listen, I had a Tesla since 2019. I'm on my second. But I do say I can see the difference between the chargers and the superchargers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them regular chargers, them, them that motherfuckers. That shit don't do nothing. Nah. Yeah. Mm-mm. Superchargers is that real shit, though. All right. Road Facts. to Redemption. Thank you for the $5. Wayno, you need to check out Mr. Havoc. You need to check out Mr. Havoc. Ask pun about him. Also, AD, shoot me that list for streaming. I'll cash app you. Just DM me. You ain't got to cash app me. Each one, teach one. I got you. I'll send that shit through to you. Um, Sayadi, Sayadi, thank you for the two dollars. Ad, do you think they'll push GTA Six to two thousand twenty-eight, two thousand twenty-seven <laughs> PS6? Nah, that's just about to come out. When they say it's gonna come out, for sure, for sure. I so. Yeah, they got PS6 coming out. Of course, it's, it ain't gonna stop. I think they said uh, we got three more years with the PS5. Or... Yeah, then they about to do another. Then it's gonna be the next one, bro. Did you it's like every that? seven years the life cycle of video Nigga, games. Did you see oh, that, mm. that Captain America? Uh, Rise of Hydra game, him. Yeah, him, with him and the old look, Black Panther. That shit look crazy. Man, that shit bro. Look crazy. I can't wait for that shit. That shit's gonna be dope as fuck. For real. Facts. So you be on your game and shit too. Hell yeah, bro. That's what I do in my spare in my spare time. What type of games you like though? Man, I play right now, <laughs> uh, of course, 2K. I would just play online versus, but I love uh Mortal Kombat. I'm on Mortal Kombat heavy right mm. now. Um I play I, I play like story games like Ghost of Tsushima, shit like that. You know what I mean? That's, story games is my favorite too. I don't really play too much like interactive online shit because I don't like people like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> on the game because motherfuckers be bitching. You feel <laughs> me? Like on the game, motherfuckers be wanting to curse you out and shit. I don't be want to hear that shit. That shit's a big distraction too. It's a super distraction. When you like when you like fall in love with like Call of Duty or Fortnite or something. Yeah. You gonna always want to play that shit. Not fast. Mm. Call of Duty. I like Call of Duty, but I be playing for the story. I, you know. Yeah, I like story games. Once like you story. done with it, yeah, I'm done with I'm it. Done with I'm the done story. with the story. Hey, I could put this away. I could go do something else. When it's time for me to get back to the game, I can get back to the game. Hell yeah, my son be on Call of Duty, sounding like he he one of them niggas that be cursing people out. Yeah, Going I crazy. To, I used to be Curse. like that too. When I used to play. It. Well, drop that. Like, sh- yeah, drop that. Anything for content. Anything for the content. Yeah, I be tra- I be talking big shit if yeah. I play that shit. Right. I just get off that shit. Nigga, when we used to play it, you was talking big shit to people. That's what right. I said. That nigga, that nigga would be, be like three kills. Shit. Like, you suck. Nah, <laughs> that's Duke do, do shit. He love that, that shit. I, I be getting off. On, I, I I can't stay on that too long. Because I'm dark, so I say dark ass shit. <laughs> All day. Like, I'm Facts, y'all niggas say so. All crazy. right. Crim Street 2. Thank you for the five dollars. If Pot Lord and Exhibit had a baby. Pause. <laughs> they talking about me? Yeah. <laughs> exhibit. Now nah, I used to get Exhibit. <laughs> I done got Exhibit, Cameron. Uh, what's the nigga? Uh... Avon Barksdale, what's my man's name? Hey, the guy, I look like that nigga. That's the guy from Pimp My Ride. <laughs> yeah, you got that before. <laughs> Avon I, Barksdale was crazy though. Yeah, especially when I was young and I had braids, they used to give exhibit all the time. Damn. Yeah. Right. All right, Seven Nerves, thank you for the $10. Big Crit, Mount Olympus. Uh, Big Crit, man, he was doing his thing when he was out active, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He was doing his thing. Now I didn't want to hear a country nigga rap. I was fucking with that. Um, Five Day Flipper, thank you for the $2. From Homelessness to Hope. It's stuck in my head. Yeah, that was that was funny as fuck. OG Moses, shout out to King Moses, man. Thank you for the five dollars. He said OG shout available Moses. at Greenleaf Botanicals and shit like that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Go over there and get some shit for my peoples, man. Shout out Moses. Six O, thank you for the two dollars. Favorite song on Live from the Six. Hmm. I guess nobody has a favorite song. Oh, for me? Oh, I got one. Which one? Uh, Raw as Hell. That's uh, that's Ice Wood Vessel Project. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Cuzzo, man. Yeah, that's my nigga. Naomi the model. Thank you for the five dollars, man. I see the ace emojis. It's crazy. You know we got that picture right here, dude? all of us, me, you. Oh, Cuzzo. I'm gonna show. I'm gonna show that right yeah, now. Yeah, that shit crazy. That shit. That shit like ten years ago, bro. That's like 2013. Yeah. Let me show the people. Back that. in the day. That shit. That's a. Crazy I literally play. just seen that shit too. Let me see if I got that shit. It's in Austin. Yeah, we's in Austin. Okay, I found a day. Oh my God. What happened, Peach? No, I, I just opened my Instagram. The first thing I see is Big Sad page. So he going in right now. He going in? Oh, yeah, he going in. Uh, about to shit early? Yeah, he going in. Hold on, let me see. Damn, where is this shit at? Okay, I'm, I'm finding it. I'm finding it. I'm gonna find it. I might be able to find it. South by Southwest pick. Yeah, it was it was all of us. Me, him, Icewear, <clears throat> Dave East. Shit, Gilly was there too. Gilly. Yeah. Yep. Gilly that shit crazy, man. I, I I like I like that all the homies, you know what I'm saying? Everybody doing their shit. Mm-hmm. 
from that moment and shit too. Proving like right. shit. That's hard. Damn, find that shit, Wayno. I got you. I'm gonna find that shit. Cause I remember I posted it like a, like a year or two. Oh wait, I found I found it. You found it? Damn, this is crazy. What year is this? Oh, I found it too. Look. You see? What's on it's on your page? Yeah, it's on my page. I'm about to pull it up right now. Hold on. Uh, 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 uh. That shit is, I posted it August 25th, 2022. August 25th. 2022. That's a minute ago. You almost there? Oh, yeah, you almost there. I just scrolled past all of that shit, too. Let's see, let's going. see. Let's go further down. Here we go, right there. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. That's crazy, man. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that pick, boy. <laughs> Look at Swish. That's crazy. Look at Vezo. Shout out to Swish, man. That was Vezo. That's crazy. East. Look at that shit. That's crazy, man. Look at that. That's a good flip right there. Like 10 years ago. Yeah. Almost 10 years. Damn, man. Tom is a motherfucker. God damn. South by Southwest, man. Mm hmm. We just having fun that day. Bro, all that shit though. Hell yeah. All that, that shit. That shit was lit. <laughs> Damn, look at Dave, girl, with the henny bottle. Yep. Skinny, <laughs> skinny, skinny as shit. Look at that nigga slim as a greyhound. Nigga, no jury. Yep. No, he, yeah, he ain't have no he ain't have no watch. He ain't have none of that shit. Man. Mm -hmm. Good times. Good, good times, times, man. man. Good times. Right. Good times. South by Southwest. Uh six so they said also get Vezo on. For sure, for sure. Vezo ain't did our shit before. I don't, think, I don't even think he did the last the last shit either. No, I, no, he did do it. He, did I think he? he I think he was on at the end of the day. I don't remember him being on. He what was he? one of the first guests, I think. Was he? A hundred percent. Let me see. I'm pretty sure. Oh, that shit. I get big money up there. Hold on, let me see. He said it ain't that serious. <laughs> it ain't that serious. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. It's gonna fuck with me. Let me see. Yep. On episode 23 at the end of the day. Damn, him and Crispy Life. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Crispy Life. Um, OG Moses, thank you for the $2. Hit the like button. If Kendrick Inning. I don't know what that means. If what? If Kendrick Inning. Uh, oh, he said hit the like button if Kendrick is Inning. I know he meant if Kendrick is winning. No, That's what he's saying. Uh, General, thank you Definitely for the, the lead. $2. Uh, thought bro in the back was just a Gap hoodie. Dark. Okay. Big Trail O, thank you for the five dollars. Wayno, top five podcast within the culture right now. I appreciate that because I ain't dropped the episode in three years, so I appreciate that. No, they're asking. No, they're asking you. Oh, top five. <laughs> I, thought, I thought they would shout my old shit out. <laughs> <laughs> top five podcast right now. Uh, I gotta give million dollars worth of game. That's mm -hmm. my favorite shit. Um, fire, I, fire. I listen to Joe Rogan. That's fire, my shit. Fire. I listen to my nigga Academic shit. You know what I mean? For sure, fire. for sure. Um, Academic's comedy. Yeah, he that nigga's bro. He's hilarious, bro. Yeah, I don't bro. really nobody can fuck with act when he do what he nah, do. Nah, bro, man. he's crazy, bro. He cold. Yeah, I think I work with that nigga every. And hey, you know what's, what's great about act, bro? He know how to turn that shit on. I didn't literally been sitting there with him and he been knocked out sleep. Them lights come on, that nigga wake up and turn that shit on. You know what I mean? Like for real, <laughs> that shit is crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, leave that nigga alone when he's beefing. Nah, facts. Nah, he go there. <laughs> he, he go. Nah, he he, he gonna nah, go to the hell. And I ain't gonna lie, he said a lot of true shit. It's just people don't no, want to hear do. from him. He they do. just don't want to hear from him. He go there. He, he go there. I'm like, damn. All right, you got Henny two more. You got two more. Henny uh, awkward. Two of a podcast. <laughs> 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 awkward. <laughs> he showed all the signs that he was over it. Like, all right, let's move on. Andy. <laughs> <laughs> this is Andy one, bro. You got two more. I'm just asking him. Just asking him. No, nah, I'm trying to think, man. Cause y'all, yeah. y'all, y'all, y'all streaming is not a podcast. Yeah, don't worry about us. Yeah, yeah we ain't even not, not a podcast. I'm don't worry about to think us. Of a podcast that I, I don't really listen to that many podcasts though. There it is. All right, cool. I don't really listen to that many podcasts. All right, we'll take number four or five. It's fine. <laughs> 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 no, I like JJ Reddick shit. Like pause. JJ Reddick shit fire. With Come LeBron. On. Uh yeah, nah, not the one with LeBron. Oh, okay. so. Everybody okay. talking about that one with LeBron right now too. Mm hmm. All right, AR, thank you for the five dollars. You watch X Men '97 on Disney Plus? Shit is fire. Hell yeah, they modernized. Oh no, I haven't seen it yet. I gotta watch, watch that yet? shit. Mm -hmm. Shit fire. What, what? Watch what? X Men '97. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. Bro, like when I'm watching something, I have to just watch that and complete it. 
I hate just just seeing unless like shit comes week after week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I'm on that Shogun right now, man. Shogun. Shogun is crazy. You know it's fire. Uh, you watch anime? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Ninja Kumai. I gotta I gotta fuck with it. That shit is it's, it's fire. Crazy. Yeah. I gotta get on that. That shit crazy. Uh, let me see. West Side Wine Sipper, thank you for the two dollars. Skinny, thank you for the five dollars. Assalamu alaikum, Wayno. When you gonna do an interview with Ak again? Y'all had a great conversation about hip hop. Uh, well, alaikum salam. Uh, I don't know, man. Ak my dog. I just I I haven't spoken to Ak in years. Like honestly, I mean that's my nigga though. Are mm-hmm. y'all beefing? Nah, we not beefing, but we just didn't used to talk like that anyway. Like. We only used to talk like when we was with each other. Like me and Act's older brother is actually cool. You know what I mean? Oh, okay, like, okay. But we nah, Act, I could never beef with Act. That's my nigga. I mean, he he taught me that nigga taught me how to broker my deals and shit on the media side. There you go. You know what I mean, so I, I'm I'm always grateful for my nigga Act. Shit. Shout out, shout out. Facts. Okay. Um, High K Seven. Thank you for the files. What's good, Wayno? I gotta say though, I got X over J for reals. A straight razor will put pinstripes and. Cross your windpipes. If you know, you know R.I.P. to the dog. Listen, DMX is one of the greatest to ever do this shit, but Facts. Jay-Z the best to me. But DMX is definitely one of the greatest niggas ever. Facts. Ace Boy 909 Dino, thank you for the $5. I was talking about the wait time because they had us thinking y'all be on earlier when y'all coming to ATL or Florida. Oh, man, definitely about to come out to both of them places, man. Yeah. Uh, West Side Wine Sipper, thank you for the dollars. General, thank you for the two dollars. Nah, Pot Lord might really be Wayno's son or brother. What the fuck? <laughs> what this nigga look like? Show me what this nigga look like. I'm gonna show you Pot Lord, man. Young Tote. Show me what this nigga look like. The Lord of Pot. Uh, pot Lord. This uh, nigga name is Pot Lord. That's his name, Pot Lord. I don't look like that nigga. <laughs> the cool is. Like- Hold on. That is funny, bro. Nah, y'all bugging the fuck out saying <laughs> I look like Pop. My nigga Wayne Lord. <laughs> nah, that nigga look like Devin the Dude, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne Lord. Nah, nah, he nah, said like, like Devin no the Dude. Oh, nah, I look like no Pot Lord. <laughs> that's, the, that's one of the homies, man. He always got a beer in his pocket. For a beer oh, in yeah. his pocket? No, no bullshit. Yeah, that nigga be having a couple of them. Nah, a beer in the pocket is crazy. No, he always got a beer. Nah, that guy. No matter. Stone and he's, and he's a black surfer. Nah, that's lit. Yeah. All right, Pot Lord. Shouts out to you, bro. Shouts out to Pot Lord. Like, I don't look like you, though. You heard? <laughs> All right. Um, Wayno Lord. Niggas is crazy. Wayno Lord. Mylon. These niggas got me the fuck up. Wayno Lord. Because I didn't get it. I've been, they've been writing this shit like that all night. Now that I see it, I'm cracking the fuck up. They called you Wayno Lord. Yeah, Wayno Lord is crazy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, <laughs> All right, Mile on Air, thank you for $2. Uh, no, we ain't reading that one. The Grand Heist. Is that Frenchie BSM in there? Frenchie B from uh, BSM. And what? From Black, Black Squad. Black, yeah, what, but what he, had long, he had long yeah. hair. Who is he asking? He had dreads. Who is he asking? Who is he asking? Who is he asking? Though? I don't yeah, know. What did what he ask? I don't, I don't think nobody look like Frenchie. Let me see. <laughs> he said, is that Frenchie? Oh, he's saying, is Pot Lord Frenchie? No, nah, he, he wrote this... Let me see. Uh, he's talking, uh, talking about somebody. He's talking about Wayne Lord. Nah, I don't look like no fucking. <laughs> I don't look like that nigga. That's a fact. I don't look like that like nigga nobody. at all. Nah, I don't look like that nigga. If they call you Frenchy, that's cold. Yeah, your, that, that nigga moms. Whoever said that they moms look like Frenchy. I don't look like that nigga. <laughs> Who would this apply to? Yeah. <laughs> is that Frenchy? Yeah, 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 Calling nigga Frenchy is cold. That's cold. <laughs> oh my nah, god! Nigga, so I look like the Brick Squad Monopoly nigga. Nah, that wow. got him. That That's got cold, him. bro. The homies is cold in the chat. Um, let me see. We got. That's called. RJ won't lose. RJ won't lose. He said, just DM'd you, Brody. I got to be up in three hours. Love y'all boys, RJ. Yeah, I got you. I'm going to put that on my story for you, man. I got you. I got you. Uh, let me see. Green Afro. Yo, Wayno, wanted to know how you got started being an A&R. And I'm an expiring A&R and wanted to know how should I get started. Hit me on my, hit me on my IG and I'll tell you because, you know, I, I I came here to kick it with my brothers and I ain't going to tell my whole story tonight. That's too, come on, man. We ain't going down the shit. We ain't going to be apologizing doing uh, freestyle and shit. <laughs> 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 yeah, you ain't getting the invite to niggas, Dreamville. Yeah. yeah. It's over. <laughs> now, nah, Dreamville, my niggas, though, man. I love Dreamville. Shout out to Eve. All them niggas, man. That's what's Thanks. up, bro. Let me see. AR, thank you for the $5. 
What do you think of the pregnancy rumors surrounding Fresh? Myron had to come with the fact sheet and show she's a scammer. Um, I seen the video of her, you know, saying that she wasn't a um a little sex worker. Who was that? Um, Fresh from um Fresh, Fresh and and Fit. Fit. He got a girl pregnant, right? I, I oh, she's that. saying. But they got some receipts of her. Yeah, the Chinese chick. Yeah, they got some receipts of her. Uh, I'll just play it for you. They said he flew the nigga. He if you flew call it, right? Yeah. Let me an escort. Prove it. Prove it. Firstly, do you take a PayPal? No. Cash only. No. We touch transfer. Do you have cash? I would prefer to pay. Where's this at? Transactions for the box. Why? I'm here. What are you worried about? One time. I have been scammed in the past. What yeah, the fuck is going on? I need to be more secure. So context right now. Who's that talking? This is somebody like releasing said. footage about the girl that supposedly fresh got pregnant. So they were trying to say she's she's a scammer, she's to be a prostitute, and she said, if I'm a prostitute, prove it. I guess somebody and put that video out. This is the video. If you're not making excuses, I mean, you are. What is that, a massage parlor? I would like to please you all. Happy ending. Shoot it. It's not just you. But yeah, you should not be able to do it for you. Don't stop. We stop. Never want to be the nigga with the bad footage. This is bad with the footage. I can't stay, but I cannot have sex for two and three hours. Like, who can do that? It's not just sex for two and three hours. What the fuck, bro? If you call me an escort, it's not just sex. Is she talking to the nigga from Saw? He's talking to the Jigsaw. She's talking to the Jigsaw. Nah, I'm saying she's talking to Jigsaw. That guy. Look how happy. Take it off. Take the dude's money and do what she's about to do. Take it off. 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 Take that nigga hey, bought man. her a $30,000 bracelet, too. <laughs> you guys might be wondering, well, Myron, do you got That was her, that was his oh. money shit? Whoever yeah, yeah. ID. Uh, I don't right? know if that was his money. Here she is. She got her identity. But it's to show you guys that we know what we're talking about here. We actually have her, Jin Chen. That's your real name, by the way, Jin Chen. It's not Daisy. You run around calling yourself Daisy. This nigga got his man to fry up. This nigga department Department of Homeland Security, bro. He the feds. That you got fired, and why you got fired? Again, he's not Chinese. Yeah. But guess what? My boy, we rise once again, aka China Man. He went ahead and translated for you guys. The employee seriously derelict in his duties or commits fraud for personal gain, causing major cut damage they to the crazy. company. Somebody said Darth Vader blowed her back out. <laughs> we have her idea. Right? <laughs> Here she is. I think it was already. Just to show you guys that we know what we're I talking about. Two, three times. Yeah, state law, he understand. has to pay for the child support. How hours. much money do you think a man should make for it? Yeah, I told him a million dollar. Walter uh, apologized for everything. A million dollars, got everything. it. Wouldn't you want him to be involved in, like, your child's life? But why would you care about that? Shouldn't the priority be to, like, build a healthy life for your future child? Shouldn't that be the focus? Before How, him. You don't care. You're not caring. The child right now is just a money ticket for you. You're not caring at all about the child. Why are you leaking? It's almost cool with him talking to her. Money yeah. the child's That's our destiny. Yeah. Talking to her. That's the girl? He talked to the girl? He talked yeah. to the girl. She contradicting herself. How he get her on the phone? Man, the probably clout. God damn, it's, it's a cold, cold era we living in, bro. Yeah, yeah bro. this shit is crazy, man. Niggas, baby yeah, mama's crazy. going viral. Like, baby mama's is cold right now. Yeah, it's baby crazy. mama's is cold. They airing Anything niggas out. Anything for the content, my nigga. Anything for the content. Anything for the content. Anything for the content. Anything for the content. Damn. This, yeah, this is. Do y'all like, ever have a, you know, do y'all ever think, like, damn, what if one of, like, my ex, like, uh, Oh, I definitely about? thought about that. Well, your baby mama. I mean, how many kids uh, you got? You got just one? I got three. You got multiple baby mamas? Nope. All one woman? Yeah. Oh, okay. So you ain't, you ain't got to worry yeah, about that. Yeah, I've never dealt with none of this bullshit ever in my life. Okay, so you've been pretty straight edge. Yeah, I'm, you know. That's good. All right. Mm -hmm. Never mind. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> Where the ghetto right. homies out? Where the ghetto homies <laughs> get? Ghetto homies. Hey, I, <laughs> I, I, I'm a ghetto baby, though. I'm, I'm, I'm number six out of eight kids, all different mothers, so... I grew up Damn. not one day. You feel me? Like, yeah, my pops was that nigga. Pops was going crazy. I was, I, nigga, I was meeting my siblings in the street. Like, they uh, be a kid walking down the block. My dad be like, you want to meet your sister? Yo, it's, it's your sister. <laughs> yeah, that is crazy. Uh, I swear to God. Hey, this nigga, Flo Flocko is so crazy. Flocko. Bro. 
Look, oh, nah, he put Wayno with the heart right. emojis eyes. Come on, Come on, Flacco. He said, I always wanted to meet Wayno. Community got a legend on tonight. I always wanted to meet you too, but all that, that pause, brother. Like, hey, Flacco, call in, man. Flacco, I fuck with Flacco. Nah, Flacco gonna say some Flacco is ridiculous. You gonna make Wayno mad. <laughs> no, he not. He, he, he. Now, if, I be, I, I if Flacco, Flacco respects you, he's not going to do that other shit. I talked nah, to Flacco like, outlandish stuff. me and Flacco done spoke You saw Flacco roll out? You huh? didn't see him at roll out? No, I ain't seen him at roll out. Okay. But, but me and him done spoken to DM a few times before. Flacco course. cool as hell, man. That's a good nigga right yeah, there, man. Flacco straight. I fuck with Flacco. He's outrageous, but I fuck with him. I be watching his YouTube channel. That nigga's hilarious. I, I like his shit. Yo, like, this is bad. Yeah, yo, this is bad. Nah, yo, the way he be breaking, he be like, basically, what she's trying to do is like- And he don't stutter. Yeah, yo. right. Yo, right now, I think the stud is a play. Yeah, basically, a, what's going on right now is this and that, and, yeah. and I'm like, bro, this thing is not stuttering like, at she's all. She's absolutely bro. a cloud chaser because yeah. if you look at this video from two years before, on December 24th, you can clearly see that she wasn't acting like that. I love how I love how he's not biased though. He gonna get everybody. Oh, he be flaming all his coworkers. Everybody. And he gonna go home the same day and do it. Right. Yeah, he be wildin'. <laughs> <laughs> he be wildin', bro. Shake, shake that hand on the way out. No. He gonna go home the same day and do it, bro. That Flacco, that Flacco is terrible. Hey, listen, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Shout out to Flacco. Love your content right now. I'll be watching your shit. But the funniest shit going right now is what? Hands down, in our in our universe is point and shoot videos right now. Oh, yeah, point oh, and shoot, point yeah, and shoot, hundred percent, that nigga, that nigga, hundred percent, he is murdering shit hey, right now, bro. He be hey. killing sharp. He hey, <laughs> ain't point and shoot. It was funny. It was funny because we were filming yesterday. He's murdering mm -hmm. shit right now. We was filming um the uh, swag. swag school yesterday, mm -hmm. and I'm walking in the mall, and the security guard he told me he was like, "Hey, man." He was like, man, point and shoot be getting that Trevor crazy. I was like, bro, <laughs> his shit is expanding, man. And his shit right. is super funny. Nah, y'all gotta show me who that nigga is. Oh, oh man. I'm gonna bring oh, up. <laughs> you got nah, don't play it, but just for me. I ain't gonna play it. I'm gonna show you his page, oh, man. You don't wanna see every video, bro. Especially when he be imitating niggas. Yeah. If he, if he <laughs> fuck with this multiverse, if he fuck with Yeah, he breaks it. Point it. Look, yeah. I'm a, we're gonna bring his page up right now. His shit's growing fast. Now I'm about to I'm about to subscribe to his page so I can watch this shit later. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna be rolling, bro. <laughs> so basically, like everything in our verse, yeah. He he gives his opinion on it. Uh -huh. But his voice is funny. The way he imitates people is funny. Nah, today he today go, episode with the piss. Oh, that this one. nigga did a song for Sharp, bro. The funniest shit uh, going right now. He made a song? Oh my. I'm watching that God, one as soon as we get off the show. I literally was crying laughing watching that shit. <laughs> bro. He do a sharp voice doing the song, <laughs> cut. It's funny as fuck, dog. Oh, man. Oh. I, I gotta watch this shit. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. But hey, bro, you gonna you gonna laugh, bro. All right. Yeah, you listen, man, I'm 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 entering the content game, man. I'm 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 gonna be on this shit heavy. You heard? Yeah. I'm on my shit. This this the dark side over here, though. It is dark side. It's dark. <laughs> <laughs> you be like, God damn, <laughs> these niggas <think> dark. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah, it get bad. It get bad. It get bad. That's how the fuck we say it. It get bad. Yeah. This is bad. <laughs> No, hundred <laughs> percent. So you ain't been in a, in a beef content. Oh world. yeah, I ain't, yeah, 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 yeah. Beef content world crazy. Yeah, nah. I, listen, I be <laughs> nah. Let me tell you something. I watch videos on anything, so I be in tune with what's going on. You feel me? But but it, it's a difference when you're in it. Oh, when you in, yeah, when yeah. Because you're gonna be like, oh shit. Yeah. Like everything you do is under a microscope too. Yeah, I got you. I got you. And they're gonna use that shit against you. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Because look, I'm going to tell you, like our audience, it's like, it's different grace periods, right? Mm -hmm. When you're new and fresh, it's like a new bitch. It's cool, yeah, yeah, yeah. They love you, they want to knock you. It's, they a, it's do the, honeymoon, the honeymoon, it's honeymoon phase. It's the honeymoon phase, yeah, and then right. once they start, you know, time going by, they start seeing little flaws and stuff, then mm -hmm. they just start bashing, bashing, bashing. They're out for blood. Mm. Like, bad. All right. And then it just, it, it, it mellows out, and they get used to it. But for some people, bro, they just... It don't matter, they just go ahead. Oh, it don't matter, bro. Oh, and and everybody can't handle that. Yeah, no, nah, that's a fact. Everybody can't. That's a fact. Because then you'll wake up in the morning and read shit about yourself every day. Oh, yeah. I mean, and I- And people I, will believe it. Yeah. Well, I, yeah, I didn't go through that a crazy degree of that, but being on everyday struggle used to be crazy. Then, then like, I ain't gonna lie, bro, when I just did Dreamville, like, when, when I did the shit with Nyla and I said, J. Cole could've kept that shit, yeah. my nigga was like, yeah, he like, man, 
Wayno a hater. He like you could tell. He's like if he's like yo, you, he's like watch. Look, this is what the nigga but give said. Give him an opinion. Look, look what he said. Ad, he okay. said watch the end. He said if you see the end of the stream, you could tell he wasn't like he he didn't like the shit that J Cole did, bro. We filmed the fucking the the closing of the stream an hour before J Cole fucking went up there and performed. So niggas be over analyzing shit for nothing. And nigga, I was fasting. It's Ramadan. I'm ready to eat. I'm ready to get the fuck up out of here. <laughs> you feel me? This shit is crazy, man. Oh, facts. Um, okay, we got more super chats. Uh, what they talking about? OG Moses, thank you for the $2. You guys don't have your own emojis for the chat? We got a gang of emojis, man. Mr. H. Havoc, he said, AD, play that song I sent you yesterday for the chat. Well, I, I, I can't say no, man. <laughs> Shout out to Mr. H. Havoc. We got a real person from a real... They been talking about H. Havoc all night. You ready, though? Horns in the motherfucking chat. Horns in the chat for H. Havoc. I gotta play this shit, man. We was banging this shit yesterday. Uh, Swag School episode two featuring H. Havoc. Y'all keep getting y'all submissions in because a lot of y'all motherfuckers that be writing, I want y'all to come film with us and shit. And Havoc, he did his shit yesterday. All right, let me play this. He just sent it to me yesterday. Where is it at? Uh, H. Havoc. Where is it at? Where is it at? Let me see. Check this shit. Havoc. Uh. Hold up, Havoc. We're about to play it. Because I know exactly which one you're talking about. Go viral. Hold up. Here we go. All right, Wayno, we need your honest opinion, bro. All right, let's do Straight it. Havoc on the beat. <laughs> 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 20 year old bitch that wanna suck on me 30 year old bitch that wanna love on me 40 year old bitch that wanna fuck on me 50 year old bitch that got a crush on me Let's go viral, go viral, go viral, go viral Let's go viral, go viral, go viral Go viral, let's go viral, go viral, go viral, go viral Let's go viral, go viral, go viral, go viral Let's go damn baby, look good from the back Bend that shit over here, make that shit clap Feel like juvie, I don't know how to act Tryna say the pussy, I don't need some ram rap Call me Keith, turn the way I make you sweat Give it to you good so you won't forget That havoc is the man that made you wet And the reason that your pussy stretch 20 year old bitch that wanna suck on me 30 year old bitch that wanna love on me 40 year old bitch that wanna fuck on me 50 year old bitch that go A prodigy! Go viral, go viral, go viral Let's go viral, go viral, go viral Go viral, let's go viral, go viral, go viral, go viral, let's go viral, go viral, go viral. Shout out to Abby! Put our phone now and let's go live. Shake it out the window while your best friend drive. But he look good, I'ma slap it at five. She like my touch, she want me to grind. Get my link so she call me. I had make a video for this shit to give me the A. She giving me head in the back of the K. Went to her house and I feel that pain. 20 year old bitch that wanna suck on me. 30 year old bitch that wanna love on me. 40 year old bitch that wanna fuck on me. What we doing? That got a crush on me. Let's go viral, go viral, go viral, go viral, let's go viral. Go viral, go viral, go viral, let's go viral, go viral, go viral, go viral, let's go viral, go viral, go viral. Come on, man. All right, honest feedback. That shit trash, but it was jamming, though. It was jamming. Oh, my God, bro. That shit trash. <laughs> okay, okay. Maybe that one wasn't for you. I got one more for you. Right, yeah, that's really trash, wrong. but uh, all right. <laughs> I got one. I got one more for you. All right. That shit that's easily hobby, become a thing. It seen, happens like that. Man. I seen shit worse than that become a thing. It happens like that, bro. Right. This is one of my favorites right now. Remember the what was, remember the fat nigga with the red hair? What happened to him? The fake Playboy Cardi Oh, you talking about uh, uh, Mario Judah? Nigga! That nigga, yep. <laughs> Gimmick, bro. Gimmick. All gimmick. I seen that nigga at Rolling Loud one year, bro. They was, that nigga was moving around like the president. <laughs> you know how when, when niggas first like started They definitely popping. was fucking with him. Yeah, they got like everybody pushing the nigga around and shit. No, it was Coachella I seen the nigga at. I was AD homie with the ski mask. They got him up out yeah. of here, right? He was trolling too much. AD homie with like the ski that. mask. Who that? The rumor, nigga? Yeah. Oh, oh, rumor. He took yeah. the mask off too late. Yeah. <laughs> he, he took the, the mask off three years too late, bro. <laughs> when I seen him take the mask off, I was like, bro, don't nobody fuck with 
fuck with. It's yeah. over with. Yeah, man. He's a yeah. cool dude, though, but like, ain't nobody give a fuck. That gimmick shit only lasts for so long. Facts. It was crazy, too, because, like, for so long, he was... Like I know you pun, we didn't know who the fuck he was. It was like, damn. Yeah, he used to be in the studio. He used to be in um. I, I saw the studio I had. You did, yeah. bro. He was like a real A and R. And put that, that mask bro. on and just start doing music. He's lying. I swear to God, bro. That ass? Bro, no bullshit. Hey, I already I got a big deal too. What do you got signed? He did, yeah. bro. Nigga, first song had Future Little Baby on there. Damn. That's Future crazy. Little Baby. That's that's expensive record. Damn. That's probably I why he got dropped. Them shit be crazy. What? <laughs> like, <laughs> shit didn't work. They're like, you gotta go. Expensive. All right. This is one of my favorites. Honest opinion. Mr. H. Havoc on the beat. Shout out to Havoc. Have sex with your spirit. 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 Baby, come over, I need your body tonight I promise to leave you weak, I promise to hit it right That horny feeling, you ain't gotta fight So take a ride and hold on tight I promise not to come fast, I promise to make it last I perform every task, I do what you ask you won't have to worry, you won't be in a hurry I'll be a daddy like Mary and not in scary And sex with your spirit Sex with your spirit just what you think? That nigga sucks, bro. No! <laughs> 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 Yo, that nigga sucks, bro. He was set, he was set up, bro. He was set up. That was sabotage right there where AD just did. I was yeah. trying to play his shit, man. You sabotage. You sabotage. He's from Ace Pit Records. And um, you play the record that we don't fuck with. Play with the Ace Pit fuck with. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, how about how about y'all don't fuck with the Ace Pit? Yeah, we fuck with that. All but right. you got you gotta play Step in the Function. Step in oh the yeah, step in the function. Okay, 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 okay. Step in the function. <laughs> All right, honest opinion. Where is he from? Long he from Long Beach. Beach. That's a homie. Uh, honest opinion. Now this is this is a setup. He's been giving. He was giving. This is setup now. Look. My hormones keep jumping when I step in the function. All the bad bitches I'm humping till they cause an eruption. My hormones keep jumping when I step in the function. It's working. It's working. It's working. I'm humping till they cause an eruption. All the bad girls hit the dance floor. Boom, get over and shake it like a yeah, that's that. He got that living face. Got the living face. <laughs> that shit banging. <laughs> nah, Horns in the chest. Got the living face. Got the living face. Until the gangs don't run no gun. Take them bullets. You can't outrun. Way to, way to, pissed off right now. <laughs> I can hear ho on that. No, that's the homie. Listen, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. No, all nope. bullshit aside. Nope. Great guy. I want to see him win. I'm, we gonna help him take him to the top. Ho. So y'all some could have been record shit over here. This is not no could have been record. <laughs> <laughs> look, look. Don't wait until they say, "Hey, who's that guy?" And they ask you to bring him in the QC because he gonna remember. What this nigga look like, bro? He, he gonna remember how you treated him. This nigga IG, Can we get the Jay Z feature? Yes or no? <laughs> That's Wait, all we need to know. Having featuring Jay Z will Can, be a legendary. Bro, Can you like, make bro? the call? I'm gonna show you. Get the, the city homie. girls on step in the function. Can you nah, make the call, bro? <laughs> step in the function. Is we'll, we'll settle. We'll settle for Young Chris. Fuck it. Y'all settle your feet. Yeah, can we get Young Chris feature? Neef Buck. Give us some skino, man. Chris, see Young Neef. We just settle for it. That nigga is crazy. <laughs> Yo, I really, yeah, don't I wait till it's too dying, late, bro. This shit not don't cool, wait, bro. Don't wait. No, don't wait till it's too late. All right, listen, late, real shit, up. real shit. Don't, because I know you was being funny when you said it was trash. What's your honest opinion about it? Give us your honest opinion. He's trying to sell the homie. Give us your honest opinion. What's my honest opinion? You said it was trash. I know you was being funny. This nigga's horrible. <laughs> no, it's wow, not, bro. Right. In a good way, though. I mean, no, there's no good thing. There's no <laughs> oh, good it's way. opposite day. It's opposite day. It's opposite day. Nah. Nah, yeah, he's the opposite. Of oh, good. a horrible that, New York means good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There nah, go. he's not good at all with New York. That nigga sucks. No, no, let me tell you why. What? Because when, you, when you're driving, 
It's gonna be stuck in your hand, bro. You gonna make me a nigga bang out, bro. You ain't gonna get a bang out for You know what's crazy, man? I couldn't have heard that in a car that I had to pull over. You know what's crazy? A wise man, a wise man once said haters gonna hate. And I that's what's going on right now. I feel a lot of hate over there. I'd be a fucking hater then. Fuck it. I'm gonna sign me up. Like, where the fuck is my with the membership at Hades, so I can sign this hater contract. Hey, a motherfucking I check. bet when Wayno leave here, he gonna have that shit stuck in his head and he gonna sing that shit. Horns of a motherfucking nah, check. Nah, he gonna go nah. look up Havoc. Nah, I, I gotta hear it I, one I, more time. Nah, I wanna see that shit. Man, listen. <laughs> I, I came over to Vegas. I looked at Lexi. Oh, I said, man. have sex with your spirit. I'm gonna call you right back. Right back. Have sex with nah, your yeah. spirit. That was, that was home. That was home. Oh, yeah, yeah. See, Jay Z want to send the feature, cuz. They want to get on there. No, that's Let them all there. That was at home. That Let them all home. there. Oh, you hate it. Oh, you, oh, you gatekeeping. Nah, I, hell yeah. Hell hey, yeah. Petey, hey, Petey, hey, if you watch it, tap in. Right no, 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 fuck that. I'm about I'm to call Havoc right now. Real shit. If you walk that record into P right now, what would he say? You know how niggas want me to get fired. He already, listen, everything that, everything that, 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 Never goes right is always because I'm from New York. So it's like I walk that in, y'all niggas want me to look crazy, huh? Yeah. That's what y'all want. Yeah, get the nigga from New York up out of here. Hey, Havoc, I'm calling you right now. Nigga, we get you a deal. Hey, Wayne, it, it could be a game changer. No Yo. Hey, Havoc. Yeah. We ain't signing the QC no more. <laughs> it, could, it could be we a game not, changer. We not signed the QC. It could be no a game more, changer. Uh, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. For one, for one, for one, for one, you don't call no shots. He signed the ASP records. He signed. <laughs> he signed the ASP records. Okay, okay. He signed the ASP records. Okay, okay. So uh, uh, he didn't sign the deal yet, though, bro. No, no, he, he signed already. Ten albums. Ten, hey, look. But look, ten I'm albums. gonna bring it over there. To ten you. albums. Yeah, I'm gonna give it to you, Wayne. No, I'm good. Damn. Hey, wait no. Hey, it's cool. Wait no, homie. Hey, it's all right. I, I'm gonna I'll make some whore, and you are gonna like that shit. I remember that. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, remember you, bro. Yeah. I remember your name. Your name, is, your name is your name is Wayne No. Your name your name is Wayne No. You know what I'm saying? We gonna you call him you, Wayne Mo. Heard, heard you good, bro. <laughs> hey, have a call nigga Wayne Mo. Hey, I, I don't care, bro. You could be a hater. Yeah, I, I call mean, that I'm nigga Wayne Lord. Call him Wayne Lord. <laughs> People been calling you Wayne Lord. I don't know. Yeah, that's you do kind of like Paul Lord. You actually do, uh, but it's cool. This record, it's cool. Havoc. This record, you know we need mean? one. No, nah, yeah. I'm not gonna make no diss record on on that man like that. Hey, Havoc, it's, his, it's his honest opinion. <laughs> but you feel me? Havoc. I'm gonna make some. He gonna like it one day. He gonna be bopping his head to it. He gonna remember this day. My name is Mr. Track? H. Havoc. He said, My name is Mr. H. Havoc from Long Beach, California. Ooh. I will be the greatest. I will be the greatest. Artist you ever heard in your life. You understand? Yeah, man, you life. feel me? Uh, no, no, yeah, yes, yes, you yeah, with, you know what I'm saying? You work with you have all the great artists. Now. Get him, man. You know what I'm saying? Call him Warrior Ball. You never worked with a person like me before, you feel me? But it's all right. It's Talk all right. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be better. You know what I'm saying? Talk your uh, shit. Hey, hey, everybody in the chat was like, hey, hey, Havoc was weak, Havoc weak. I've been hearing the same thing since eighth grade. I ain't never stopped since. I'm gonna keep going and keep being better. You know what I'm saying? You work with Jay Z. Hey. Crash you know out of this nigga right now. I might one day. Hey, but I love Nas. You feel oh, me? Oh, 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 man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I love I love E-40. I love Snoop Dogg. I love all the greats, man, that paid away for me and everybody else in the future. You feel me? I look up to people like that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I don't care about nobody else's opinion about me. I'm going to keep going to get better. You know what I'm saying? Keep doing your shit, Keep doing your shit, Keep doing your shit, Exactly. I, I exactly. definitely hear I definitely hear Nas when I hear your music, bro, for sure. For sure. Shout out to you, my boy. Yo. Shout out to everybody. <laughs> All right, Havoc, nigga. My guy. All right. Yo, I can honestly say that my experience on Community is like nothing else <laughs> I've ever done in my fucking life. This shit is crazy. Yo, this shit got it, bro. Nah, I nigga, now? Nah, 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 don't be on it now, nigga. Anthem for the homie, nigga. He gonna tell you where he from. Yeah. He said he don't fuck with Jay-Z, nigga. It's where he from. I'm from Long Beach. Where you from? From the East, West, North, nigga. We go Let's go. Down. Long Beach. That's right, Havoc. Get home on the phone. North, nigga, we go dumb. Long Beach, where you from? From the east. <laughs> yeah, West, there you go. We go dumb. 
Long Beach. See, you start to feel it. Yeah. Look, Nigga, I was born in East Side. Nigga, Long Beach Memorial. When niggas gang bang, be super territorial. What? Nigga, watch your mouth. Be slipping like editorial. Bitch, ass nigga, get mopped like janitorial. Bitch, I'm from the East Side. Ain't never been a poly. You better dress me kindly. I'll get fucking hard off in a dolly. I don't have to get spiked like a motherfucking Bali. Bitch, niggas talking shit. Bang with the fifth grade. Niggas talking shit. Nigga, I had to run face. Yeah, I went to PH. Nigga, Long Beach where I'm Made. Put my city on my back, nigga, and I'll never trade. Nigga, I'm from the same city as Snoop Moore G and Nate. East side nigga. of Pilot. My nigga crazy, bro, and drop a low to the lake. Respect to the legends, nigga. That ain't nothing for the bay. Hey, nigga, hold talking on, all that shit. You niggas better bow down to the motherfucking LBC in the California point. state. Long Beach, where you from? He's talking to you. Bow down. Bow down. Bow down. Long Beach, where you from? From the east, west, north, nigga, we go dumb. Bow down. Long Beach, where you from? From the east, west, north, nigga, we go dumb. Yeah, nigga. Bow down to the California That's that West Coast shit, nigga. I ain't gonna lie. Now, just give us your email. We're gonna get to you when you get to P, and we can talk about it. Are you gonna reconsider your offer? No. Absolutely. Oh, not. shit. Yeah, see? So, is that like a hard no or? Yeah, yeah, it's over. Is it almost? Nah, it's over. It's not it's a glass over. half full thing? Nah, it's over. You might, just, <laughs> you might just need to live with it for like a couple days. Nah, nah I'm good. I'm man. telling you what's going to happen, bro. You're going to be driving. You're going to be at the airport. Beach, you're going to be like, where I'm from. it's catchy, bro. It's catchy. Nah, this is, yo, this shit. It's catchy. Got it, bro. Y'all niggas. Nigga, my hormones <laughs> keep jumping. Come on. When man. I step inside the function. function. Come on, Wayno. Nah, bro, this is crazy. All the bad bitches hit the dance floor. He's talking to him, bro. He's talking to him. There it is, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I can see it now. Like, ho, ho. Bring that back. Like, ho. <laughs> Motherfucking have it. Have it. That's, That's cool. cool. I should have hated him. I on might me. run into Havoc in the mall tomorrow or some shit. You think he's going to press you or something? He might try to press he me. Press. Uh, but yeah, Havoc might press. press me. It's press worthy right now. You're press worthy right now. <laughs> I'm press worthy right now. You call him trash about 15 times. You're press worthy right now. Damn. Half. <laughs> Damn, half. See, you know his name now, at least. We, 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 step one, we there. You know his name. There it is, man. <laughs> but we're not, we not taking that deal now, bro. It's over. Shout out to Wayno, man. Yeah, man. My brother Wayno in the building. Facts, man. Listen, I'm, Wayno, I'm, you hanging out, man. This is a long time coming, bro, because, you know. I'm I'm honored to be in this motherfucker, man. For real, this this shit been fun. I ain't gonna lie, y'all inspiring me right now. I ain't gonna lie. That's Come cool, on, man. That's cool. Appreciate you, bro. For real, Facts, for real. Man. Get your shit cracking. I mean, even if you don't get it cracking, when we in Atlanta, man, we'll pull up. Yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely. And y'all more than welcome. It's at the crib. Y'all more than welcome. Y'all fan. Pull up. Yeah, man. We'll have some uh, more records for you by then from Havoc. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we might bring them. Right. Nah, y'all ain't bring Havoc. We're bringing Havoc to the crib. Don't bring Havoc to the crib, man. The kids yeah. will love them. Yeah, Havoc is not, not welcome at the crib, man. Uh, <laughs> kids going to do all the TikTok dances to you. Nah, man. man. I ain't got it. Oh, man. I ain't got it, man. That's man. hilarious. Shout out, my boy. No, that's tears. All uh, right, what, what, what we got? Uh, let me read some of these super chats. Um. Hey, y'all saw Doom Two. Doom Two was fired. I ain't seen uh, it. Are, are fired. You, you saw Doom One? Yeah, I seen Doom One. Doom I, Two, killing. I just ain't get a chance to watch that. Doom Two, that killing. <laughs> All right, look, somebody just text me right now. What they say? <laughs> Doom Two. <laughs> oh, look, look, look at this. Look at this. I ain't gonna say who text me. Look at that. This is why he a nigga. This is why he's a nigga, man. <laughs> the person on the phone. Oh, man. Um, let me read some of these super chats, man. Stack of SOS. Thank you for the $5. Your what's cracking? G. Salute from New York, South Bronx shit. You heard? Okay. Thanks. Shout out to the Bronx, nigga. Shout out to the Bronx. I was born and raised in the Bronx. Then moved to Harlem. Culture Clips. Thank you for the $2. It's Smack the ODB of FMW. Uh, yeah, you can say that for sure. JT, no more. <laughs> JT, no more jumper said, uh, say whatever, but Jay got bodied in person by DMX. Damn. That's what's up. AR, thank you for the $5. What do you think of the pregnancy rumors? Right, we talked about that one. Who uh, pregnant? The, the, the fresh and fresh shit. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought somebody else. Uh, KD reacts. Thank you for the fifteen dollars. We need Wayno and Act to do a podcast episode for old times' sake. 
that duo was classic. It's going to happen. Fact. It's going to happen for sure. Okay. Spaced Out Sounds Pharaoh, thank you for the $5. Drebo, the lobby too, needs recognition. Bro is like Nate Dog meets Blast and burying his soul while giving high vibrational music. The love is classic. I agree. Fair to say. You agree, he, you agree he's like Nate Dog? He has reminisce, yeah. uh, like his style is reminiscent of Nate Dog. I don't think nobody he, can be like Nate Dog. Oh, he got some, he got and if we got, if we had somebody that would be like a, a, a reincarnation of Nate Dog or like anything close, it'd, it'd be Ty. Would be Ty. That's yeah. it. Yeah. But Ty do not his son. No. <laughs> Why you laugh? It's not his son, son, but no. It's literally his son, bro. He does uh, music that sound. That's like his dad. It's a difference. I don't heard no comparisons. Uh, oh. No, his son sounds like him for sure. It's literally his son, bro. I, I, I know that, but I ain't heard son? no comparisons. Nate I heard yeah. Dog's son. Yeah, I heard, he rap, my boy. I heard he Ty, raps and it sounds like it sounds like comparisons to Nate Dog. I never heard his son compare. Shout out my boy, man. I thought you was trying to be because you're not listening. <laughs> you're not listening to him. He literally sound like his dad. He do though. I, I'm, I know. I heard a song. I heard a song with him and Snoop. You laughed at him. <laughs> that <laughs> <laughs> nigga called. That nigga is crazy. Bro. So I say, Yadi. Uh, thank you for the two dollars, AD. I want to wish Wayno and all the community happy EID. Yeah, <laughs> class of his own. Thank you for the five dollars, Wayno. As an AR, how would you handle AD San Diego kerfuffle? What? what the Why would you have to say as an AR? Why? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, I gotta read this shit. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. Let's just pass. On yeah, we gonna pass on that one. <laughs> Flawless P. Okay, I'm not talking about no kids. Uh. Flawless Pete, thank you for the files. Niggas got scammer shit going on with some of the super chats. We reading them all. <laughs> I'm like, damn. Niggas sent, niggas sent money to tell you you're a scammer. <laughs> 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 Nothing funnier than I had the, the homie from the section come over here. Mm -hmm. And I said, bro, he was like, bro, you know I'll be scamming. I was like, oh my God, nigga never going to beat that shit. <laughs> That's tears. Yeah. Ace Boy 909, Dino, thank you for the $2. Y'all get some security for Wayno. Havoc. <laughs> <laughs> he's coming he for you. Down, I ain't the, re lie. the rest of the ace pick gonna come after you too. You might be top op right now. <laughs> so good. I you stay your ass in Atlanta, way no. <laughs> stay away from Long Beach, nigga. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, John Doe Jackson, thank you for the two dollars. It sounds like Havoc wrote that. Oh no, I ain't gonna. I'm not gonna read that. I almost did it. What? It's somebody's body part. Oh. You can guess, you can guess. Uh, no, I'm not I'm not gonna try to guess. You're not gonna be mean. I'm not gonna try to guess. Yeah, nasty work. Super nasty work, man. Nasty work. <laughs> nah, man, but big shout out to Wayno for coming through, man. Shout out Wayno. Um, the next up. communities going forward, two o'clock Mondays, two o'clock Thursdays, two PM. We had to make this a special episode. Thank you for the homie for bracing us. Oh, come on. You know what man. I'm saying? Fish. With Shout your hip hop Wayne knowledge o. and just being a great friend my overall. Dog, my dog, my Everybody, dog. Everybody hit the motherfucking like button, man. You know what I'm saying? And tune in to shame on you tomorrow. Leave and also a Shout out, shout out to Hove, man, post game pull up. You feel me? Yes, sir. Hey, and right now. Oh, well, oh, go ahead. No, I was going to tell them they got to follow my Twitch, man. Wayno119. No, we're going we gonna to pull it up right Wayno now. Wayno119. Okay, okay, one, one, pull the Twitch up right quick for me, AD, please, man. Yeah, Wayno119, one, 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 you heard? Check my Twitch out right quick. Follow the Twitch, man. Hey, How hey, often you on there? I mean, I'll be on there, hey, so few and far between, but guess what? My brother's done influenced me to get on this shit. Get on you there, bro. Go crazy. We ain't playing no games. It's yeah, y'all make sure y'all follow Wayno, uh, man. Support him. Wayno, one one nine. One one nine. Yep. It is funny as well because <laughs> the, the star name. Yep, there we go. Wayno one one nine. Follow him right now on Thank Twitch, you, man. man. Yep. Look, we at six hundred. And support. I mean, hey, look, look. This is what I need y'all to do right now. And Flacco said Wayno is the goat. Thank you, Flacco. I appreciate you, brother. This is what I need y'all to do right now. I did this on one of the shows. You feel me? Everybody, let's get Wayno before we get out of here to a thousand followers on Twitch right now. Get, you know what I'm saying? Give him some more motivation oh, to go live. I'll be on it, man. You know listen, what I'm saying? I give me a thousand. I'm listen. We going live. Let me get back home. We going live this weekend. We need <laughs> four hundred people to hit that follow button. Four hundred right people now. follow on Twitch, man. He going live this weekend. That's lit. Well, we go. We going live this. Come weekend. on, we, we got streaming. five so far. We streaming. Go crazy. That's, oh man, that's lit, man. We, we got streaming five this so far. We hold on, hold on. When I refresh it, I want to see at least 610. Okay. 607. 607. Let's go. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. I know we can do it. Okay. Already okay. following. Okay. So 
Somebody said already following. It says come to kick, Wayno. Twitch is done. Oh yeah, I got I got a kick as well. Oh, uh, you might want to go to kick then. I got I got all them drinks. Kick you get nine ninety five percent or hundred percent. Yeah, ninety nine percent, hundred percent. All right, well I'm start streaming on kick. <laughs> Fuck, man, I'm streaming on everything. Then. Where? Shit. Oh, we had six twelve. Yo, listen, man, I'm grateful, man. I'm grateful. Listen, I gotta say this before I do get up out of here, man. I appreciate my bro, AD. You know what I'm saying? We had 625. Hey, listen, man, I Ace appreciate Luke. Appreciate Ace, appreciate Ho. Listen, man, th- 631. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm streaming this weekend, y'all. Come we on with me, you heard? 633. Listen, I'm streaming this weekend. Come on, let's give him the 700. Oh, man, man. This is this is beautiful, man. So Havoc follow me too. Yeah. Nah, yeah. nigga's over. Ah. <laughs> it's over. Shit, Havoc, Havoc got to pull up in. you will be judged. You yeah. know, that's what I do. We, we almost Six there, y'all. Nah, this is crazy, man. This is crazy. This is this is real shit, man. All right. We Appreciate 645. 645. 645. <laughs> we at 645. I'm grateful, man. For real. This is crazy. Somebody said not follow until you give Havoc his props. Come on. Uh, yeah. That might turn the time for you. If I give Havoc okay, his how props. Okay, how about this? Tell just me. give him some criticism. Or not criticism. Some motivation. Give him some motivation right, on what so to do. so we ain't just going to call Havoc trash, right? We gotta Thank give you. Because this is the thing. I there said, we go. Progress. When we do, you will be judged. It ain't the shit on people, right? So Havoc, what I would do is you got to work on your beat selection, bro. Some of the beats, they do got good melodies and all that, but the shits need to be sharpened up. And you got to work on your delivery. Because some of your delivery is just wacky. Like, your, your shit is all over the place. You sound like a little kid. You got to put a little bit more bass in your voice, put a little bit more attention and a little bit more direction, and then you'll get better. You heard? There it is. All right, he deserves a thousand. That's what I got for Havoc, man. That's let's get him. Let's, let's get him. Let's see. He deserves a thousand. We had 653. Hey, listen, man, I appreciate y'all, for real. Oh, they said post a link in the chat. Hey, Yazers, I know you in here. <laughs> Like I said, what we look like, this ain't Wayno Pit Records. Right. <laughs> hey, hey, this Ace Pit Records, nigga. It's Ace Pit Records, you, you know what I'm saying, Wayno nigga? Pit Records. <laughs> I got it. All right, we're going to end it at 660. We ain't waiting no goddamn I'm, 700. Yeah, man, that's cool. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. I'm Shout out to everybody in this More motherfucker, people man. people that know me today oh, oh, that didn't That's know what me. I was going to say. Hey, we just dropped a new uh, uh, performance on uh, the community channel today. So y'all make sure y'all go uh, check that out with Little Vader and Donnie Solo. Run that up, and then uh, we gonna be dropping a new. We got two more in the can now. Five uh, with me, Tyrell, and King. Yeah, we got two unreleased ones right now. That's oh, that's going crazy. Working. So yeah, that that's coming soon. Look out for that. We starting a Patreon for the uh, what could go wrong, by the way, and we're gonna be doing Fire. some two exclusives and all that. All right. What we at? Damn, we at six fifty nine. Listen, man, that's power, bro. I appreciate y'all. Hell yeah! Thank you, y'all. Wait, wait, five, uh, we out here. Four. Three, Three, two, two one. 660. There we go! Yeah, 660. There we go. That's all we needed. Listen, uh, everybody else, y'all follow. Uh, you know what I mean? I got to do the work, though.